<laughs> and we are live. Welcome, everyone, to episode six of Towers and Gods. You may have noticed that the positions were not updated in the opening there. Sorry about that. Uh, moving on. Uh, my bad. I'll, I'll have that for next week. It's been kind of wild because if you don't know, this is our first episode doing the episodes weekly. So things are a bit different. We're adjusting, you know, and uh, I thought it was prepared and then hit play on that. And what do you know? But this is a good segue because I'm going to introduce the wonderful cast members we have here today. If you could introduce yourself and go ahead and say what position you're in. Why not? It'll be it'll be fun that way. So we have Isaiah. Uh, hello, hello. I play Gasu, a wave controller. All right, we have Milios. I'm Brack Bronson, and for some reason, I am a fisherman. <laughs> for some reason. All right, all right. We have Sun Wu. Yo, it's Wu. I'm a scout. I always knew I would be. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. We have Hannah. Hello, I'm Hannah. I play Aiden, and I have been newly christened a spear bearer. Spear bearer. All right, and then we have finally Other Joe. <clears throat> Hello, I am Other Joe, and I play Damien Frog, the lighthouse man. Good enough. All right, so. <laughs> some sentence. And we're done. It, it, it works. It works. <laughs> it um, is my new job, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Where's so, the lighthouse? <clears throat> yes, yes. People in the chat, um, let me know if the audio sounds okay. Um, every episode, I'm trying to make little adjustments here and there. So let me know how the levels are. If you can hear everyone clearly, um, just let me know and I'll make the necessary changes. So yeah, last time, positions were finally discovered. You know, we, we discovered where everyone ended up. And lo and behold, you're all in a different position in class, which is very exciting. Um, you know, some of the other characters that you all like, uh, Victor's a spear bear. We have Boris as a fisherman. Stexa is a scout, I believe. So, you know, they've all been dispersed, um, which is going to allow for some very fun interactions today, hopefully. So, uh, how are you all feeling going into episode six? I'm excited. I'm so excited to see what happens with all of the new teachers, which the wonderful art, bless the artist. Um, and I, I'm just interested to see like what unfolds with all the different interactions and personalities. So I'm very excited for the social-ish episode. <laughs> sure. And I am sure. looking forward to seeing who dies this episode. <gasps> oh, how dare you? <laughs> just just <laughs> straight to the death. <laughs> oh, you, was that a spoiler? David? Oh, sorry. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I sent I wanna... you the entire scripted session. I want to see these these teachers and like get their personalities, but I also I'm curious to see if like any of our main cast will like reveal more information about themselves. Right. That's true. That's true. And we've had like lots of very test heavy episodes. Joe, you were saying a little bit off camera. So this will be it'll be fun to like have a moment of reprieve, I guess you could call it, where it's like, all right, we can focus on, you know, just people talking, getting to know each other, maybe learning things, maybe not, maybe, you know, who knows? Right. I can drink strawberry drink all day. Yeah, everybody get a strawberry drink on them for a brack. <laughs> I've, yeah, well. uh, I've had to rewatch that last part of the last episode like four times because that moment where, where Brack gets the drink always kills me. Oh my god. <laughs> it always kills me. It's Every time. So good. Every time. Uh, but yeah, okay. So I think we can get started then. Oh, also, before we do start, really quick, Discord link down below. We're going to feature memes and fan art from the last week. Y'all were amazing, as usual. Uh, during the break, we will feature those. And if you want to feature or have your memes or art featured in the next episode, then join the Discord and go ahead and submit it in the Towers and Gods Discord channel. All right. So last we left off, everyone was sitting in the meeting room. You had just received your positions. And Ari Regulus himself the ruler of the second floor made an appearance. You all had already met him because for some reason he had requested your um, an audience with you all and he asked you some questions and whatnot. But to everyone else, this is their first time actually getting to see him. It was revealed that the prize of the crown game is personal training with him. Of course, we know the winners of the crown game. I, so much happened last episode. We finished the crown game. Uh, the winners were Eden, Victor, and Boris. And so the three of them will be receiving special training. We're going to pick up right where we left off. You all are currently sitting in the meeting room. You just heard this from Regulus. All of the testing administrators have introduced themselves and what class they'll be teaching. And yeah, 
We're going to pick right back up here. So the stage is set. They're all on the stage currently. And once Regulus says this, whispers are kind of shared throughout the room. And you hear some people say like, what? Training with a ranker? And that's unfair. And like this and that. I'll give you a chance to uh, respond. That is so cool. Congratulations, Eden. Thank you, Damien. I wasn't really sure what to expect with that. Um, that'll be interesting. I'll be sure to report back to you and Ray Svelger. Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. How about yeah. you take Ray Svelger with you, and then he can write down notes for me. Can he do that? Uh, not not well, if we're being honest. <laughs> okay. I don't tell him I said that. Oh no. Um. Well, if you want to send him, I won't say no. I mean, it could work, or you could just tell me after the class. I mean, it, I'm just it might really be more happy helpful if I tell you after the class. I don't want to accidentally like hurt him in any way. So, yeah. He is a, he is a very resilient frog, but I understand. He appreciates your uh, concern. Plus, I don't know if uh, Mr. Regulus would be too keen on having a frog with us. I don't know what to make of this. I'm very bewildered right now, and it's really early. <laughs> Ugh. At that, that point, wasn't a very long sleep. At that point, um, Scopio steps back up onto the stage. As Mr. Regulus said, the three individuals who won the crown game will be receiving training with him. And he looks over at Regulus for a second before continuing. This will not be every day. You are going to be here for one more week taking classes with us. And according to Mr. Regulus, two or three days he will summon you from your pocket and you'll make your way to the training room. If you have questions regarding that, please feel free to let me know. On that note, I have updated all of your pockets and then they all pop up with a map of the second floor. And let me switch your screen on roll 20 here. Uh, I don't think, yeah, here we go. Nice. More or less, this is a map of uh, how everything is. Oh, room of riddles. Oh, no. <laughs> so as you can see, we are currently in the meeting room above the cafeteria. The training hall will be directly to your left once you leave this room. The infirmary, directly to your right. If you need anything while you are on this floor, you can come to the offices, which you can find by turning left from the cafeteria. Now... On the topic of the infirmary, starting today, you may now visit the infirmary. Um, most of the regulars who were placed there are going to be perfectly well by the end of today. However, there are some individuals who were not quite as lucky and may take an additional day or two to continue healing up. It is your choice whether or not you wish to visit these individuals, but of course, any form of sabotage is not allowed. This brings up the conversation of points. The positions test will take place throughout this entire week. On the final day, we will hold one final exam, which will be in the form of one final test that you will take within this test. All of your actions throughout this week will determine how many points you collect. The regulars who have the most points within their respective positions by the end of the week will pass their position. Any questions regarding this? When you say all of our actions, you mean even actions we take during our free time? Indeed. That is not to say that you must do extracurricular activities that regard that in, are rela in relation blah, to your position. However... No, of course not. You're just saying you'll be watching us. If you make mistakes, if you break the rules, if you hurt other regulars or kill other regulars outside of these tests and outside of class and you break the rules, we will be watching. And he kind of specifically gives you a longer look, Wu, and you uh, recall that he had just spoken to you before entering this room <laughs> about a certain something. I just kind of scratched my head. Uh, this is starting now, right? Starting now. In fact, it started during the crown game. Ah, good to know. <laughs> I raise, I raise my hand. 
What about <laughs> sparring? Friendly sparring. Is that allowed? Friendly sparring is indeed allowed, as long as you do not kill the other individual. Of course, we'll be, we have security cameras everywhere, and we'll be watching you to make sure that the sparring does not go too far. I turn and look towards Damien and smile, <laughs> and then I just whisper, round two. And I point oh. at him, and I give him a <laughs> smile, and I say, yeah. <laughs> Rack, he's mine. Back off. He stabbed me with scissors. <laughs> yeah, you, you enjoyed it. Eden is looking between all of the people, all of all of the boys, just very exasperated. Like already, like we just got up. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, uh, Shion, who is near Gasu, she's like, y- you're, "You're all from the same team, right? Why? Why do you? Why does it seem like you all don't get along very well?" <sighs> because they don't. They're not really so much a team as they are a bunch of people that got together and decided not to kill each other. Hmm. I see. And then Scopio continues. Oh, Eden raises her hand very quickly. <sighs> yes, uh, Mistress... Miss Eden. My apologies. Um, I've noticed that there are differences in the numbers um, between the positions. Is there a scale of how many make it, or is it just a base point determination, or how does that work? Who goes on? Only the top performers in each position will move on. However, I am not obliged to share that specific number with you all today. You will be made known in the future. Thank you. Any other questions before we move on? We have a lot to cover. No? I have a question. What would happen if I were to say, injure the competition? And I glance over. Oh, go ahead. No, who do you glance over at? I glance over at the infirmary, smiling, thinking about bulwark. (laughs) Oh my god. The man, (laughs) the man who fought to his basically death for your team. (laughs) On your orders. Your orders. Orders. <laughs> I also love that he's in the infirmary and he doesn't consider that enough of a handicap. You have to charge on the poor guy. This man has covered it up. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm down with whatever happens, though. Sabotage in any form is not allowed. If you do manage to injure a fellow regular during a class activity, that is a different story. But outside of class, is not allowed. And that form of violence ultimately is up to your testing administrator. Which, Mr. Bronson, that would be me. And he whispers under his breath, unfortunately. <sighs> I'm assuming that's all. How many more questions do you all have? He looks absolutely I have a tired. Gossip raises his hand. Have each. Go ahead, Mr. Name. These uh, dormitories that we have, the rooms we're staying in. Is there a curfew? There is indeed. 10 p.m. is your curfew. What happens if we break that rule? You will lose points, Mr. Neymar. It is a form of rule breaking here on this floor. Hmm. I assume that's not a problem. Of course, course 10 p.m. is kind of early, don't you think? We're grown. This is to confirm that you all have enough energy for the arduous testing that you'll be going through during this position test. All right, all right, Mama Scopio, appreciate you. Eden bites back a laugh. (laughs) I'm going to move on now. I am now going to update each of your pockets with the current total number of points that you currently have. If you have any questions regarding this number, please let me know. Now, I'm going to actually message you all in our private little um, channel in our Discord, and it's up to you whether you want to share this number. Ooh. Ooh. This number is based upon your performance during the crown game, and you may 
either increase this number by attending class, or the number may lower if you break the rules, which apparently many of you seem to wish to do. Hold up. May I ask an over-the-table question real quick? Yeah, sure. You know how much you gave me. Is that a high number or a low number? That's up to this you is... to decide. Like, if, once, uh, you, uh, once you actually have a comparison. <laughs> 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 They haven't they haven't said how many points we need yet, right? Or am I not remembering? Yeah. So according to Scopio, it's not necessarily like you have to reach a certain number of points, it's that you have to have, have more points, points than yeah. your competitors uh, okay. in your position. Oh, and okay. only so the top win. few will pass. So you could win with like five points if everyone oh, has none. Yeah. 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 Okay. And we're we're really only competing against the people in our same positions. Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah. And Eden's question was sort of and Scopio didn't elaborate, but there's no, he hasn't given you the number yet, but there is like a number associated with each of your positions that are allowed to continue forward. Okay. Interesting. I, I, I lean over to Eden and say, how much number, how much points did the champion of the crown game get? And I show her mine. What do I see? You see, I got 140 points. Eden is trying to keep a stone face, but gets very flush. Okay. And sh she leans over and whispers in Damien's ear, I got 300, don't tell anyone. And I and I put my hand over my mouth. I'm like, oh, oh, oh my God. I will not tell a soul. And she's just very uncomfortable. She, she okay. She's not, she's not happy about this. She doesn't like being the, the top student. No, <laughs> not in the slightest. Interesting, interesting. In regards to points, missing a class will result in you losing a set amount of points each day. So please make sure you attend class. You will receive bonus points if you manage to attend each class. So even missing one class could be vital to whether or not you pass or whether or not you fail. In addition, if you are even one minute late to class, you will still gain points, but it will be reduced greatly. Now, any points back to the, the giant lighthouse that is behind him. In regards to your schedule, and it kind of bloop, changes around a little bit, your schedule is quite simple. In the morning, at 8 a.m., you will have class. Your pockets will set off half an hour early, but of course this can be changed. You will attend class until noon. At noon, you will have one hour of a break in which you can do whatever you wish. There will be a small lunch prepared for you in the cafeteria. And then at one o'clock until 5 p.m., you will continue class. Afterwards, it is free time for you to do as you wish. And for those of you who are assigned extra activities, that will be during this time. And he looks over at Eden and Boris and Victor. So you'll have class in the morning, a break, class again, and then the rest of the evening. I assume this makes sense to all of you. And then Stexa raises her hand. Um, uh, is the, uh, <clears throat> what kind of, uh, food do you serve here? Is it is it really good, or...? <sighs> it is serviceable. As some of you probably found out already, and he looks at Eden. <sighs> Any other questions that are actually important? I whisper over to Stexo. He doesn't eat anything anyway. <laughs> and she, she kind of chuckles. Good. I believe that is all I have. And then, wait! And then, uh, Blazer, they got the pistol, raises his hand. For, for the ones in the infirmary, um, <clears throat> I assume they get a pass, right? If they can't make it to class. Of course they don't. This was actually already answered previously. Anyone who is in the infirmary and cannot make it to class will lose points, and it will count, count against them in regards to their other competitors for the position. Look over at Victor, and Victor seems pretty bored with all of this. Kind of, kind of his feet up, and his head, hands are behind his head, just kind of like, doo -doo -doo. 
I believe that is all. If you have further questions, you may find me in my office. Today's a break day. You may do whatever you wish today, but tomorrow classes begin. And then for the rest of the week, you will be worked tirelessly. You are free to go. Go, go on. And then slowly regulars kind of start to rise from their seats. And you can see the other testing administrators behind Scopio, um, you know, doing various things. Nissan is talking with Brooke, you notice. Um, uh, Charity is kind of like waving at some of the other light bearers that are gonna be in her class. And then H1 just walks off like back where she came from. And I reach my arm out because I was hoping to say something to her. And I just kind of like hang my head. <laughs> I was hoping to shake all the teacher's hands, but I guess I'll, <laughs> I'll get to her later. Is that what you wish to do, David? Uh, yeah, that's that's my that's my game plan. Okay, so they're all currently on the stage right now. So you kind of weave your way through the crowd a little bit, and you you walk up to the to the stage, and Scopio kind of notices you. Another question, Mister Frog? <laughs> um, no, sir. I, I, I'm, I, I have, I think I have enough tact to wait for them to get off stage. <laughs> okay, I sorry. Wanna, <laughs> I want to say I have a little I wasn't bit sure. of... <laughs> yeah, and you, you, of like, you walked up, you didn't like walk onto the stage, <laughs> but he just noticed you walking forward and kind of assumed. Do so... please have Grace Felder shake their hands too? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so at this point, um, they're starting to like walk off the stage, like, towards the, the side room that they had come from, which, like, leads directly to the stage. They're all walking off, Damien? Yes, and now I go over and I say, hello, I may not be your student, but it is very nice to meet you. Okay, so you're just saying this to all of them, whoever is present? Absolutely. Okay, so at this point, uh, Nissan and Brooke and um, Charity are the ones who are kind of together. And they kind of look over at you. Brooke kind of smiles, uh, but Charity bounces down and she says, oh, I'm s and she shakes your hand. Um, Damien, I'm so sorry I mispronounced your name. I, I didn't mean to. I just have so many students that I'm trying to work through. I'm trying to memorize everybody. I, I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry, it, it, it happens all the time, actually with like my teammates and and God himself. <laughs> and, and, and and sometimes the, there's this thing in my head that just scrolls down with a bunch of text. Sometimes they get that name wrong too. <laughs> and like, no! it doesn't bother me at all. Cause it, it's okay. Oh my God. Okay, well, um, she's kind of like unsure of what to, how to respond. I, <laughs> that's good, um, I think. It's crazy. Uh, well, um, I'm just so excited to have you in my class. Um, do you know anything about lighthouses? No. Oh, that works well, that's well. good because we're gonna start from the beginning and I'm so excited. I didn't think I would end up here, honestly. But mm -hmm. I'm so excited that I am. You know, the light bearer is probably the strangest position in the tower, so I don't blame you. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for class, okay? Sounds good. All right. And then I I, I stop Brooke and I say, can you, can you, can you sign my bottle? And you can, t <laughs> you can tell she's, she's, uh, very used to this. Of course, of course. Do you, do you have a pen? Uh, and then I, 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 I look at Harry Felger and it's like, get the frog pen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Felger like scurries away and quickly comes up with the pen in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like breathing heavily. Oh, thank God. Okay, here you go. Here you go, ma'am. I'll make it out to Damien and Harris Felger. Da um, could, you, could you? Oh, is that your your pet? And believe it or not, we actually have art for Harris Felger that I'm gonna put on the screen. <gasps> Highly requested oh, by the chat. Oh, oh, the it's, it's the boy. Oh. <laughs> With the popcorn. Yeah, let me like move it more best so you can see the see part. the rest of the popcorn. <clears throat> Don't get this easy. Kreisvelger is very greedy. Oh. <laughs> He's precious. <laughs> I'll take him to class with me. I promise. <laughs> so, Brooke also notices how cute. Oh, it, you're an anima. That's very impressive. 
I sure am. It runs in my family, but I am terrible at it. And when you say that, Scopio kind of looks behind him because he was still talking with Regulus on the stage, and he kind of looks back for a second, but then continues talking with Regulus. Runs in your family, huh? Well, and then she signs the bottle. I hope when to see says, you more, Damien. When he says that too, I get a really pissed off look on my face. As the bottle is being mm, handed to okay. me, I, I, I squee a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> sure, sure. Well, see you soon. And then she uh, winks as she walks off the stage. And then I say, wasn't that great, Race Filger? And he's like, rip it. <laughs> and I was like, no, you can't drink it. <laughs> It must be preserved. All right, cool. And then um, you're surprised to notice that Nissan was actually waiting very patiently, and he walks up to you. Hi, I'm, I'm Nissan. Hello, Mr. Nissan. I am Damien Frog. It is a pleasure to meet you. You know, Damien, you're easily one of the most interesting regulars on this floor. Um, if you don't know, me and the other testing administrators have been watching all of you very closely, and I gotta say, I'm rooting for you. And I lean in very closely, and I say, Is that right? I'm very interesting. Y yeah, I, you, you are, man. Have some confidence in yourself. I uh, That is the one thing I am not lacking in, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you don't say. Well, I got a little paperwork to get to, but it was good talking to you, all right? We'll, we'll see you soon. It was very nice to meet you as well, Mr. Spear Beer Teacher Nissan. Uh, yes, all right. Take care. Eden is standing back where she and Damien had been sitting, and she's just watching all of this, just like, oh my gosh. Sure. Why? Sure. Just why? <laughs> I, I, I I shake the, the signed bottle, and I wave at Eden, and I'm, and I'm like pointing at it, and I'm like, oh my god. Her arms are just crossed, just shake, slowly shaking her head from side to side, like, oh boy. Sure, I'm sure. I'm hear about this as soon as we get back. <laughs> right. The conversation. All right. Um, so you were, you were waiting for Damien. You, you saw that whole interaction go down. Um, Gasu, Brack, Wu, what were you up to during this time? Um, go so first. Gasu gets up and he walks over, making his way towards the training hall. But before he does, he sends a message. Can I send like a message to people on my like via pocket? Yeah, totally. Okay. So he walks over. To, he's walking over to the training hall, but he sends a message to Brack through his pocket. And... The message just reads, meet me in front of your room, 9 p.m. Don't tell anybody. I look at the message. I just go, what, what does he want? And I go back to planning my attack on uh, Bulwark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going through the whole nine. Like I'm trying to figure out like which, <laughs> which which day I'm gonna, I'm gonna act on it. Sure. How okay. I'm going to do it and how I'm going to make it look like an accident. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Sure. Sure. So so Brack, when you receive this message, I'm assuming you're just like leaving the uh, the meeting room. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, you notice to your right is the infirmary, and the door is wide open, and you look through and you can see that, like, straight through the door in his bed, like, you can see he's awake now, uh, Cal Silvers is straight ahead, and you see the beds kind of continue to the left, uh, past where you can see. Uh, and you notice something odd, he has this weird black marking on his upper lip. Uh, it's kind of far, too, you're too far to see exactly, but, you know, <laughs> I come catches over, your I eye. Come over, I come over to Breck, like... Bro, come with me to the infirmary in a second. I got something to show you. I stop, look over at uh at Wu. I look at my pocket. I look at Wu. I follow Wu. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, cool. <laughs> after, walk, <laughs> after walking out too, I call out to to Scopio. Mama Scopio, if you want the the uh, thing we discussed back, I'm heading to the infirmary now. If you wanna come with. It's already been taken care of, Mister Wu, but I appreciate your concern. Well, aren't you on top of everything? Brack, let's go. Okay. All right, sweet. So you start to head to the infirmary. Uh, and Gasu, did you, like, leave the meeting room right away? Or did you kind of stick around? Oh, you went to the training room. That's what you said. You right? went to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. He sent okay. a message to Brack and then just walked towards the training hall. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So Wu and Brack, you enter the infirmary. And as soon as you do, Wu, I mean, uh, Cal is kind of just... 
he sees these little days and he notices you and he kind of does a, you know, a start and, uh, hey, guys, how's, what's going on? Calm down, silver boy. No one's here for you. Damn. I, <laughs> <laughs> no one loves you. Oh my God. It's, oh, that's man. kind of a friendly greeting. Well, what bad has he done to you all? Come on. Closer, I mean, he, he, he's going against our leader. Brack finally accepted. Aww. Eden as leader. Aww. So, going against the leader. It only took six episodes. That's not bad. Only six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and you now, Brack, you can clearly notice it's like a scribbled mustache. Just clearly drawn on his upper lip. And he doesn't seem to notice whatsoever. I'm just cracking up next to him. <laughs> look at I, I look down that wool. <laughs> I look down that wool. I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, did you do that? And I'm just looking back at him, like he's a non-factor. <laughs> and I'm just still just there standing beside Wu. Okay, and Cal doesn't seem to notice this interaction. He just says, "Look, I I might have been. The only reason I'm in here is because I got ganged up on." I'll challenge any one of you, one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll see who wins. As soon as I get better. I'm almost done. I'm gonna get better tonight, actually. I'll be back in time for the scout class. <laughs> see you there, buddy. You look you looking quite good today, actually. <laughs> I'll challenge you, man. I'll challenge you any time. Uh, th thanks. And he kind of looks very confused at the, at the thought. Um, so there's a few more rows where, like, random, you know, not significant characters. Well, the, the main significant character, or more, that you do notice uh, on your way, you know, as you look towards the back of the room, the person who dueled Eden is uh, lying in one of the beds, and uh, Gion, the, the man in heavy armor who is with her, is sitting down next to the bed, and you can tell that they're chatting, and she looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, everyone else, just kind of people you beat up during the crown game. But then at the end of the bed, you see... Leaf is sleeping. Aww. Yeah, I'm heading back there. I plan to spend the rest of my time till curfew waiting to see if she gets up. Okay. Brack, as, uh, you notice as, him starting to walk. As as we're walking through, I'm scanning the room, and I'm just internalizing everything, and I'm thinking, look at all these losers. God. <laughs> and then as we continue to walk, I spot Bulwark. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. I was just gonna say, you couldn't see him because of the way the curtains, you know, are situated. But you do see a hulking figure, who it, <laughs> the bed looks pretty tiny, uh, and he is awake, and he's just kind of sitting there, staring at nothing. As I'm walking past, I just yell, "Bulwark, how you feeling, buddy? Was it he a good fight?" <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Some leader you were. I'm never trusting you again. You didn't uh, even win the crown game. You're a disgrace. Ah, uh, you should have never trusted me to begin with. <laughs> we argued before the fight. <laughs> you dummy. And I just keep walking with, with back towards me. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Kind before, of I, before, before, I, before I leave, though. Yeah. Uh, let me take a quick picture of Cal with my pocket. <laughs> Without him noticing, I assume. Yeah, well, I gotta roll for it. Yeah. <laughs> gotta make sure that flash isn't on, you know? <laughs> uh, let's roll a uh, sleight of hand, I guess. Okay. 15 plus... Uh, 18? You kind of, you know, uh, seamlessly as you're walking, your pocket kind of floats and then takes a picture. It's not like the, it's not a super close up image, but you can clearly see the mustache and you can see like the confused expression on Cal's face from the angle you captured. And he did not uh, notice anything. I send it to Eden. <laughs> okay, so you're all heading towards the, the bed. And at this point, I'm gonna say, uh, Damien and Eden, you kind of, uh, you finished up your thing and uh, Eden, you receive a notification on your pocket. I'm confused and I, I pull it open to see what it is. Sure. And upon seeing the glorious image that was sent to me, 
she laughs out loud, like hard bent over, dying of laughter, and just like something that would probably surprise anyone on her team of that much joy and elation. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. And Damien, how do you react to this? I I I react to Eden laughing like a mad woman, like with a, a, with shock. I'm I'm like, what what is happening? Eden, are you okay? <laughs> Damien, Damien, Damien! I pull him close. I pull my pocket to his face. Look what they did! Look what they did to him! <laughs> like almost like out of breath. <laughs> I look at her and I just. <laughs> did you? No, that, I, 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 I try and compose myself, and I say that, that was not me, but whoever's handiwork that is. Oh my gosh, I need to give him, I need to so give him. So much uh, respect. Oh my gosh, I, this morning has been something else, and I don't I, know what to make of it. You know, we had a, a, a meme that was done recently, I'm going to put it up on the screen when I get a chance for the, for the people watching. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it's not showing up. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But it goes with what we're talking about here. Um, so, okay. At this point, you're all laughing, you know, having a good time. Scopio kind of is surprised by the laughing, but just kind of shrugs it off. Uh, Gasu, you walk into the training hall. And it's not a massive room. It's, you know, pretty modest. But you, have, you notice there are a few um, wooden sticks in one corner. Some of them shaped like needles. Uh, others like rods and, you know, various other weapons that you might find in the tower. Uh, and other than that, though, pretty barren room, just kind of a wide open area, um, no chairs or anything, just a big open space, uh, with not much in terms of furniture and the like. Um, and you walk in, and you notice someone else walks in beside you, and it's Shion, and she looks over at you and says, oh, you had the same idea, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I see. And she just walks past you and she starts doing stretches in the middle of the, uh, room uh gasu walks over to the wooden needles and picks them up like kind of a couple at a time and then like walks over to i'm assuming like the shape of the training hall that you have here like that's oh. it's just a rectangle room yep it's just like okay. a long rectangle okay yeah so he starts like sticking the needles in the ground like lined up in a straight line okay like one next to the other Sure. And then walks over to the other side and sort of like gets in this stance with his sword and closes his eyes. Okay. As Gasu starts to get in the zone, you you don't notice much around you, but at the same time, you're very aware of everything around you at the same time. And you notice that Shion kind of stops and is curious about what you're about to do. <sighs> And, and Gasu, at the same time, in what is a split second, unsheathes his sword, and all of the needles are split in half without him moving from where he's standing. Sure. And then just goes back to sheathing his sword. <sighs> Too slow. And Shion looks like she's going to say something, then kind of hesitates. Who trained you? As A man. His name was Song Hoon. And Gasu's saying this as he's like, you know, walking back over and grabbing some more of the wooden needles to like, yeah, you know, cut it up again. Sure, sure. Song Hoon, you say? I've never heard of him, but he must have been a great fighter. And you notice that when she says that, she kind of looks a little bit downcast. I can understand. Gasu kind of like gives her a hesitant look. Sorry. No, just, she just kind of mumbles. I can understand. Hey. Yeah? And at this point, Gasu grabs one of the wooden needles and, like, throws it to Shion. She catches it. What do you say? You want to go a few rounds? Can't say a needle's my weapon of choice, but why not? And she kind of gets into her own fighting position. And Gasu takes his sword, like his sword off of his belt and then picks up one of the other wooden needles like to use as his weapon. Sure. Okay. And I'm going to say you two, you know, you hesitate for a second and then poof, she goes in. And I'm going to say you start to 
you know, train together. And Eden and Damien, at this point, I'm assuming you're walking out of the meeting room and you can clearly hear that people are training in the training hall. I suggest to Eden, how about we get breakfast? You know, I'm down for food. Did you see Boris or Victor leave the room? I didn't see him. Um, I can't say I did, sorry. All right. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know. But yeah, well, I'm down for breakfast. I, our mornings don't agree with me. Let's go. Delightful. You can't train on an empty stomach, after all. Honestly, who wants to train at this point? <laughs> okay, maybe I was late to the whole crown game thing, but, you know, I'm, I think a day off is warranted. Like, a full day off. Shots fired. Actually, literally, like, yeah, Yasu and she on a training, and then we're just like, man, who would even train? How lame. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. Let's go to the cafeteria and get some breakfast. What do they sure. have at the cafeteria? Yeah, so currently you see the chefs are cooking up stuff, eggs and bacon. You know, kind of, you, you saw what they were cooking um, a little bit, briefly, as you entered the room. And you, they're starting to put them onto plates. And some of the regulars, including Stexa, is grabbing the plate. And she looks behind her and she looks at you, Eden, and she kind of... She, you can tell she's a little shy, but oh, uh, hey. Hi, Stexa. How are you? I'm really hungry. Um, I know the feeling. Yeah. I am absolutely roommate? starving. Oh. Who? Sorry, I'm and sorry. She, I didn't mean to she now recognizes you, Damien, and she she kind of thinks for a second, and looks back at Eden. Uh, sorry. What was that? Uh, I was wondering if you got a roommate yet. I heard you last night saying you didn't have one. The whole night. Not a single person. It, I mean, I'm not complaining, because honestly, you know, I'm fine with the extra space. Uh, but it does seem a little odd. Yeah. I guess it's somebody in the infirmary, maybe. If you feel lonely, oh. you can move your bed over to our room. Damien? <laughs> she looks visibly, un you know, uncomfortable by the idea. No, 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 Damien. I was thinking we could toast marshmallows in our room. <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna establish a rule right now, Damien. I put my hand on his shoulder. I get real close to his face. No fire in the room. Do you understand? No fire. No fire. No fire. No campfires. So... No matches. No blow torches or any other. Flame-producing paraphernalia you might have in whatever inventory you carry around. No flame, <laughs> no fire. Okay. As as you're saying this, Stexa's eyes, her eyes kind of get a little bit wide. All six of them, and she kind of like <laughs> slowly like backs away a little bit from Damien. Stexa, I know this is going to sound very uh, odd, but he isn't as psychotic as he looks. What? He just oh, has to be kept no. in check every yeah. now and then I, by I, his I, leader. I... <laughs> I understand. If, if it makes you feel more comfortable, I am not a psychopath. <laughs> uh, when you say it, Damien, thanks. it just it doesn't it uh, it doesn't land. You, you you two are Brax teammates, right? Yeah, we are. Yes. Well, from from King of the Seas. But uh, yes. Right. Yeah. Um. Well, do you wanna do you wanna eat together and we can talk more? Sure. Okay. And you all go and find a table, and you know there's enough tables for for everyone. Uh, and I'm she keeping kinda... my eyes out for Victor and Boris just to see if I see him come across at any point. Sure, neither of them are in the cafeteria, from what you can tell, and they weren't in the meeting room either. Okay. Um, what do you think of uh, that Brack guy? As she's eating the eggs. He's oh, uh... he, he's hilarious. Yes. And he... sorry, go ahead. He's... He's very bombastic, outspoken, and um, he yeah. brings a lot of life to the party. Let's just put it that way. And not yeah. only that, but he can back up what he says. That I, underest true. I underestimated him when I fought him. That's right. You had the crown. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, <clears throat> she looks. You're the book girl. Uh, Damien! <laughs> she, she just kind of puts her face in her hands. 
Damien, no. Damien? It's fine. I was really, imp I was really impressed with your performance. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. He's not a psychopath, but he has no decorum. I'm, I apologize for his outburst. <laughs> just kind of give him a sideways glance of like, mm. She just kind of shakes her head. Y yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, and then she starts eating the food. This is, this is pretty good. And she keeps eating. It actually and is. Yeah, you can tell it's it's not bad, actually. It's not the best food you've had, but serviceable. Um, you continue talking and continue eating, and, uh, and the infirmary. Uh, Woo, Brack, you walked back into the, the corner of the room, in the last bed in the room, and you see Leaf. She appears to be sleeping. It's hard to tell if she's unconscious, but she's just out of it from what you can see. Or I, I mean to say, like, you can't tell if she's, like, naturally sleeping or if she right. hasn't woken up yet. Is there any, like, nurses or, like, medical personnel nearby? Uh, not currently, no. Yeah. Well, she was like this yesterday, too, man. Really hope she wakes up soon. I would say don't worry about it. She, she's just taking a nap for the moment. When she comes back, she'll be stronger than ever. I hope so. Well, guess it's time to talk to Damien then. You're finally going to go have a word with the frog? I think I have to. Okay. Well, if, well, if you need support, I'm here. But I also have to see Gasu. He sent me a message on my pocket. I need to see what this is about. No worries. I'm sure if it's Gasu, it'll be somewhat interesting. He doesn't go out of his way for no reason. Eh, you're right. But one more thing. Hey, Bulwark! And he just doesn't look your way. Just looks straight ahead. We're in the same class, Bulwark. <laughs> I'm coming for you. And he's just grinding his teeth, not looking at you at all. <laughs> all right. and, 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 well, while this is happening, uh, well, you do see a nurse coming from the cafeteria enter the room and carrying you know, a tray of certain objects and kind of pauses, uh, excuse me, and walks past you and sits down next to Leaf. Hey, hold up. How's she doing? Is she going to be okay? Oh, um, it's hard to say. It's clear, and he looks behind him at all the different beds. It's clear that she's the most injured of the people here in the infirmary, but she's surprisingly strong. Um, she, I'm guessing she won't be able to make it to tomorrow's class, but if all goes well, maybe for the second one? Good to know. He all starts, right. like, checking her heartbeat and all that. Well, thank you. As long as her life's not in any danger. I gotta go. Take good care of her. Oh, of course. Yeah, we'll take care of you too. And Excuse you start to me. exit the room. And then I just, and then I just leave. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, you leave the room, and immediately you see that the most of the regulars by this point have now, they're sitting down, they're eating. It's not much food, but, you know, bacon and eggs. And Wu, you do notice um, Eden, Stexa, and Damien all eating together. But you also notice you hear distant sounds of training coming from the end of the cafeteria. Uh, I peek into the training room real quick to see what's going on. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and cut back to Gasu and Shion really quick. Um, we're not going to have a full-fledged battle uh, just for the sake of time. But uh, at least now, since you're all currently training. Um, but you notice, you walk in, and you just see them <laughs> needles no, flying, and they're to. flash. Oh, sorry. You, you, I know, just you like see it. through the room. <laughs> right, 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 right. You see them whipping around their needles, and they're hitting each other. And um, most of the time, they're trading blow for blow. Um, Isaiah, do you want a really quick roll for athletics? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, wait, do I add anything to... That would be... Yes, it's strength by default, and if you're proficient, 
an additional plus two on top of strength. Oh, okay. Uh, 21. 18 plus three, right? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wait, hold on. I gotta double check this, because that would be insane if it was true. Hold on. Uh-oh. Could we tie? I don't, I don't want a metagame. Ooh, okay. All right. Basically. Uh, basic. Very close. Oh, you damn. see them trading blow for blow, the needles clashing, and... Uh, Gasu, you are impressed. Um, you'd seen her briefly fight during the crown game, but it seems like now she's starting to actually show some of what she can do. The crown game was just a, a crazy mess with the crown flying everywhere and Bill A. Bartimus III, and it was just wild. So at this point, you, you, you see some of her potential, and uh, you notice she's even starting to push you back a little bit. Whoa, where did this come from? <sighs> I had a good teacher. <sighs> and she just keeps, you know trying to get a good hit in, but neither of you land a blow. And then, Wu, you, you see all this happen. That girl is better than I thought if she can keep up with Gasu. Better keep an eye on her, too. She might be a prop. And I walk off. Okay. The sounds continue echoing from the training hall. And at this point, you see them eating at their table. And every, all the regulars are kind of scattered, sitting around. Uh, I walk up, not say anything, sit next to Stexa, and just stare at Damien. Okay. Hey, Wu. Eden, you get my message? I did. Thank you. Were you the perpetrator behind, um, his new... What, uh, um, markings? Let's just say I can neither confirm nor deny that. Points and all. But you know. Fair. Fair answer. I approve. That's a house of food. Uh, oh, uh, and she kind of looks over at Brack as if, like, she's not sure who the, you know, hasn't interacted with this person yet. Uh, Brack? Where's Brack? Oh, I was I was there. I oh, I was I'm there. sorry. Are you still in the infirmary? <laughs> no, I, I was, I was uh, going went to, like, the... Gasu. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my bad. I thought you two were trying. All right, we're still there. Yeah. Sorry. Well, she, she kind of hesitates for a second, kind of like, you know, looks at you for a sec. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, you should try it. I'll get some later. Yeah. Amy. Uh, stare. Wu, did you go to the infirmary? I just came from there, yeah. How's Leaf? They're not entirely sure. It seems like she's one of the worst ones. But she'll make it. And they're, they're pretty positive she won't be able to go to class tomorrow, though. I look mm. down into my drink. I kinda slightly re slightly relieved, though. Kinda that she's gonna be okay. Give a sideways glance to Damien just to make sure he's okay, too, and still visibly concerned about Leaf. Do you want to sit with her for the day, or do you want us to take turns? I mean, How do you think she'll be alright just when in the infirmary? I'll definitely spend a bit of time there. It'd be cool if you guys went and checked on her too. Yeah, I'll do that right after this. Damien, I'm gonna need to talk to you in the common area around eight. Sound good? Um, I, um, can I get back to you on that? Sure, but I'm gonna keep asking until you make time. I promise I will. So uh, let me let me just head this off at the pass. I don't want either of you to lose points over whatever you have planned, Wu. I'm sure this can all be worked out with talking and not blows. We need to make it off this floor, so let's keep that in mind as well. We can all protect Leaf now that we're all on the same page. All right. I understand what you're saying, but I assure you, I heard everything Scopio said in a lot of detail, and what I have planned won't lose any of us points. And Stexa kind of is just looking back and forth while this is exchange is going on. Very out of thing, place. The only thing I'll approve of is if you draw a mustache on Damien. So, just... No, he would enjoy that. What he he seems like he takes very good care of his face. <laughs> he seems a little high maintenance. Oh. Inter internally, I sure do. 
<laughs> Eden, look, I promise you, you don't have to worry, but I, me and Damon have to have this talk. I agree. Okay. And whatever comes to blows, we... Whatever happens, happens. Not to be a bus killer or anything, but do you want me to be there as a moderator? Or is this a gentleman, I'm... we got this type of thing? You do whatever you want. It's up to you. I don't really care. It's not I look over. Used to come over. I look over at Eden and I say, it's okay. I think I know what I need to say. You sure? Yeah. All right. And I so look over at... I look over to Wu and I tell him, I'm glad you're okay, though. Uh, thanks, man. It's not me that I'm worried about, though. I let I get up. I well, so really quick before you do, Stexa kind of goes, oh, hey, um, Wu, right? Yep. And Eden and Damien, right? Right. I'm uh, sorry if this is a weird question and kind of out of the blue, but how do you know Leaf? She was on my team during King of the Sea, and you all seem really close. I don't know. Just wondering. Well, I'm sure you had your reasons, but I met Leaf as we were making our way to the crown game. We kind of bonded. She said, uh, we kind of abandoned her? But, and she kind of, we did not abandon I just chose a different path. How is that my fault? No worries. I, I'm just saying what she said, or... Actually, maybe she didn't say that. I'll remember. It is what it is. Don't make accusations if it's not true. Nobody blames you, Stexa. Uh, you did a good job to Why does everyone game. blame me for every? Well, thanks, I guess. <sighs> and she's visibly Stexa, like, no, shaking her head. Nobody's blaming you, but I have a question about whatever tunnels and doors we went through earlier. Yeah. Ooh, how did you end up with only two teammates? There should have been oh, enough uh, for each team to have three. I don't think we should talk about that quite yet, but oh, pretty sure it has something to do with the last opponent you were facing during the crown game. The cloaked guy? Yeah. Uh. I don't know where. I don't want to talk about it until we have more information. Just be wary of him. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mess with that guy at all. Um, but to get back to your question, Stexa, I honestly had never even seen Leaf until. Who was out there with her? I just don't like to see little girls hurt. At oh, all. I mean, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, right. Of course. And she just kind of, sorry, kind of out of the blue. Um, no, it, it's a fair question. Seems like we've been getting that question a lot, and I kind of glance between Damien and and Wu a little bit, hinting at what we got called in for. Sure. Well, anyway. This one was good. Um, I'm gonna head back to my room. You know, plenty of uh, space in there for just me. So, uh, see you later, everybody. All right, Sexa, uh, have a good one. See you, Sexa. I up. give a friendly wave. <laughs> sure, sure. At this point, Brack, uh, you can see, you walk up to the training room, correct? Just kind of from the outside, or are you walking in? I'm walking in, like, sure. first okay. and open the doors. Just kicking open the door, all right. Uh, so you can see Gasu and Shion just trading blow for blow with the needle. Um, like I mentioned, they they haven't like landed a decisive hit, but mm -hmm. Shion does seem to be putting on quite a performance. Uh, as I'm watching them trade blows, I'm like, oh, the two of you have more spunk than what I thought you did. And then I, I just yell at Gasu, Gasu, you said you wanted to meet me. I know you said in front of the in front of my room, but. I'm here now. Let, <laughs> let's get this out the way. And so when you walk in, they, they kind of slow down the fighting and look over at you. Brack, do you remember that I also said not to tell anyone? I did read that part of the message. <sighs> of course you didn't. I mean... Shion, do you uh, yeah. mind giving us the room? Sure. Thanks for the fight. And she... Puts down the needle, walks out. She on, before you go. Don't yeah? tell anyone. I have no reason. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. And she kind of rolls her eyes and walks out. I just smile at her as she leaves. All right. But that's her back to Gasu. <sighs> All right, well, I'll cut to the chase. 
tonight at 10 p.m., I need you to be out of your room for exactly half an hour. I think about it and I go and I, I repeat back to him, you need me out my room for half an hour. Would you maybe be happy to go after that, uh, the blue haired one? I don't want to kill him if that's what you're asking. I don't care if you kill him. I just want in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect that, but here we are. Here I don't know why are. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, you know. <laughs> No, no, nothing like that. I just have to have a conversation with him. That's all. And I prefer it to be private. Okay. But if you need the upper hand, just know I share a room with him. I can, I can plan a trap or two. No worries. Good to know, Brack. All right. What, what was that it? That's it. All right. I have someone that I need to go torment real quick. Uh, he's back in the infirmary. But I don't think they'll let me back in there. So I am going to go. I guess I'll go see the bug. All right. Nah, okay. she don't want to see me. I I'll figure it out. And I'll, I'll walk away from Gasu. Okay. So you start walking out of the room, and you know Stex had just got up and left. So you just you only see Eden and Damien at the table who are wrapping up their meal. But Damien, uh, you receive a notification um, right as this is happening, and it's a text message. And I'm just oh. gonna private message you. <gasps> really quick. <laughs> I had all these like messages planned and y'all are doing it even more than me. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> so uh, you received that message from that person. Um, and Brack, as you see that, you, you, you know, you're walking out of the room and, and you're seeing him at the table. I look over at Eden. I wave. Leader! <laughs> Just I, I get like shaken out of what I was doing. I was like, I, I kind of like loosely wave back and get the smile. And then and I the, look over at Damien. Lock I eyes with him. I correct Brack and I say, leader and winner of the crown game. Eden, Eden gets kind of like, she stiffens and like blushes again, just like, oh, stop talking about that. The number one student in all of the floor. <laughs> Damien! And I like grab him by the lapels of his cloak. <laughs> ah! Stop saying that so loud. Oh, People sorry. are stop. definitely looking. They're like wondering what the heck is uh, going on. Stop making scenes. I I don't like being in the center of attention. So can we, you know, I appreciate all the titles and accolades and I appreciate the support, but inside voice, Damien, remember we've talked about the inside voice, inside voice this time, okay? Have we okay? only ever been outside though? Right, okay, inside voice. Okay, inside I understand. Voice. Okay. We're not, we're not baseball okay. stratting, just inside voice, Eden, Leader, I, I, just just call me Eden, okay? I'm just I'm just Eden. And then I say, my uh, my most proud friend, Eden. Oh, just head and hands, just like oh my gosh. Y you notice and just only Eden. Sorry. No, she's fine. Uh, a couple of the individuals who seem especially perturbed by this are um, Slurks, who was a spear bear, and then. Uh, What's his name? Freaking Blazer. Uh, they got the pistol. They kind of shake their heads and get up uh, and walk out of the cafeteria. As Blazer get up, I just kind of heckle him. Oh, it's you, a guy who can't aim for crap. <laughs> How did you get to be a spear bearer? He stops and looks over at you. At least I'm a spear bearer. The fisherman class is for people with no talent. No talent? Ooh. Get a load of yeah. this guy, no talent. You couldn't even hit your mark. <laughs> My <laughs> gun was jammed. <laughs> this is new technology. Your they just fixed jammed. my gun. And, and I pipe up for like five rounds, six rounds. Uh, mm. Oh, look at me, the winner of the crown game and announcing it to the world. 
You're so I didn't, proud of he yourself. did. It's sick. Hey man, don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll teach you how to aim in your class tomorrow. I, I, <laughs> he's just I is bewildered I by all the comments. <laughs> I also say, was that like a bludgeoning tool? How come it didn't work on you, man? You know what? Like, like genuinely curious. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the childlike curiosity of Damien. You know How what? are your attacks supposed to connect? I'll show you. I'm I fixed fascinated. my gun. You'll see during the spear bearer class. Which one of you is a spear bearer again? I sheepishly raise my hand just like, hello. Of course it's you. We'll see if your bow can match my gun in class. Sound good? It did in the crown game. Whatever, let's go Slurks. And Slurks just kind of follows along and they start whispering. I give them a friendly wave. It was nice to meet you. They don't look back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> Woo, um, about the points thing. Is Brax still with us? Sorry. Yeah, and uh, I, yeah. I, I had forgotten to mention Woo is still there, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, Brax is still there, yeah. Hey, Brack, come over here. I want to ask you a question. I'll, I'll walk towards the table. Gleefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys get points as well? We all got points, Dina. Why are you so nervous? You know this. Well, well and Damien's impetuous and impulsive manner always showed me his already and... I told him mine, and I'm... I don't know if I deserve all what I got, so I was just kind of curious of what you guys got. I show everyone my point total. <laughs> Could you remind everyone many... what it is? Yeah, it's 140 points. All right. I look at I look at Damien's points, and I laugh at him. I point and laugh, and I and say, I... Sh I... Shut. <laughs> and I say, I... Have two hundred points. Yeah, no problem. I pull out my pocket. It says here I got one sixty, but uh, who knows if that went down or not? When when I you know may or may not have done something I shouldn't have last night. What did you do? Uh, oh yeah. Oh you oh you did that last night? Why didn't you get a picture then? <laughs> <laughs> you see how stupid his face look now? I know, but he would have been asleep. It would have been funnier. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't thinking about it. I went to see Leaf. I just that's, happened to pass by. That's fair. That's fair. But good job. Very, very good job. That that helped this morning. Um, I'll be Ooh, honest right, with right. you. Yeah. So, um, like I said, I, I don't. No, if I deserve all this, but um, I and please keep this between the team at least. Got three hundred. Uh, hundred stacks. Yeah. So I um, I'm wondering if Boris and Victor got the same, but I can't seem to find either one of them. So I want to find them, and once we're done eating here, but um, I just wanted to kind of touch base with all of you and and well, you and see how they're. I don't aging. see how you don't deserve all of that. Oh. Scopio, Scopio said it was based on the winner of the crown game, and yeah, you but... had a final duel for the crown. Uh, yeah, I doubt but... Boris and Victor have as much points as you either. Well, honestly, like, they held off Cal's team, and I just sat on the crown and shot arrows at a guy that just left the arena. And we didn't join until the last two rounds, and the round between, you know, And all of you... that was thanks to your strategy. Well, well, I mean, I don't know. It just made sense, but it also kind of felt cheap because I waited so late. But I don't know. I just I'm trying to figure out a baseline of how they're even gauging points. Just so I don't know. Maybe we can have some sort of well, like. Well, I don't since know. the point totals are different between individual classes, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. But that's true. Yeah, you should start by finding Victor and Boris. Maybe they'll be able to give you a better gauge than we got. Yeah. And whoever else I can find out, or, and likewise, we can maybe figure out where we all stand in this, because I don't know, this points thing makes me nervous for some reason. It's not... doesn't feel like it's 
based on skill. It just feels like it's like a school system. Ugh. I don't like that. I'd rather be it on action than anything. And points are arbitrary at the end of the day. It could, you could piss off a teacher and you might not get as many points as you deserve. Things aren't fair like that. Could it? If you don't, if you can't figure anything out, you could always ask uh, your new tutor tomorrow. Brock being slow on the uptick, <laughs> he, he realizes that A, Wu actually painted the face on Cal Silver's. <laughs> <laughs> Great, good and he start. Has a surprise look. <laughs> and B, he comes to the realization that he might not be in first place in this class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because Boris, Boris is a, a, a fish bearer, right? I mean, a fishman, right? Yep. That's right. All right, yeah, yeah. And he realizes, <laughs> he starts to internalize it like, maybe I shouldn't have let him win. Oh. Ah, oh well. <laughs> they just... Okay, okay. So at this point, Gasu, you're alone in the training hall. You see Brack leave. What is your future look like? Uh, Gasu just sort of picks up the uh, the needles and continues his training. There's sort of okay. like a like a method, or, or not a method, a rhythm, I should say, to his training yeah. and okay. the way he moves. Sure, sure. Okay. That keeps it very simple. Uh, mm -hmm. So while you are having this conversation, um, Eden, you were on the lookout for, for these people in particular, so you noticed this first. Uh, Victor walks into the room from the dormitory side of things, and he walks over and gets some food. He's grabbing a plate, and he's by himself. Hey, Victor. Hm? Oh, hey, what's going on? And he grabs his food and sits down next to the group. Ugh, sorry I'm late. Oh, you're fine. Um, you seemed very bored this morning, so just was... I mean, all the information they were saying was just common sense, in my opinion. It seemed kind of pointless to continue talking about it. Plus, we're all going to pass anyway, right? We're some of the most skilled regulars here from what I saw during the crown game. Yeah, you're not wrong. I think we all held the crown at some point. Well, it... Except Damien's team. They, they they touched it. They they touched it. Yeah. You you touched it, Damien. I kinda like pat him on the shoulder realizing <laughs> like I oversaid what I was I over I, Right. I am totally okay with it. I'd I, say it was a hard fought win for them. I yeah. bellow out Ha! And it's dreams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I look over like a give give him like a what what he what face. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, and so, then Victor kind of goes. Oh, speaking of your team, where where's little prickly boy? Where's he at? I don't. I don't actually know. That's. Did y'all see him anywhere? I'm confused. I don't think we have a cactus as a teammate. <laughs> I think we prickly. do. Actually. He's he's talking about Gasu Damien. He's prickly to everybody. Um, Debatable. Best, best buddy Gasu, you mean? <laughs> Rob, didn't you say you were going to see him? Yeah, he was. He was in their training. What did ah. he want to talk to you about? How do you know he wanted to talk with me about something? I thought that's what you said. Maybe I'm mistaken. And Brack just looks over at her, squints his eyes. Maybe she doesn't know. And then he just goes back to just listening to them. Okay, sure. And he, you know, Victor's just kind of scarfing down his food. Oh, this is not that great, but I guess it's serviceable. I mean, it was better than dinner last night, if you could even call it that. <laughs> they were starting to starve us. At least this is I something. Yeah. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as what you get back at your family's house. And he kind of okay. notices the, you know, the undertones of that. You're right. This is garbage compared to that. What kind hey, of food did you, did say you that? in your family's house? Wait, sorry. Woo, woo, what did you say? Oh, I just had figured you say something like oh, that. Oh, okay. And then, sorry, Damien, what was that? What kind of food did you have at your family's house? I mean, basically, whatever we could, you know, whatever we could find the, whatever we could, we could find the finest chefs 
You know, people who would make all kinds of foreign foods and extravagant dishes. I don't really miss it that much, though. This is more fun, you know? As they Victor. talk about... Oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, as they talk about food, Brack begins salivating, and he starts to think about the uh, fried shin hui that he, he used okay. to eat with his dad. Aww. Fair enough. And then he starts contemplating taking Victor's plate. <laughs> Brack, are you hungry? Would you, would you like to get yourself some food and sit down with us? No. There, there's oh, more. Okay. There's more. There's but, more up there. <laughs> but he's just eyeing Victor's plate. <laughs> Brack, come on, I haven't eaten yet either. Let's go grab us, man. And I just, I just nudge him away. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So, um, do you all want to continue the conversation here at the table, or do you want to... I had a couple things that I'll Go wanted. ahead. All right. Um, well, considering you had a fairly extravagant life before this, um, how long were you at the Coon Estate? Or floor, or however that works. My whole life. Every damn minute of it. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I mean, <laughs> my family's powerful, they're famous, we're all handsome, but uh, it just kind of was boring, you know? It seemed like all we talked about were politics, or who's going to who's gonna be accepted here, or who's going to win this or that, and who's going to be a band... Eh, I don't know, I just kind of got sick of it. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun, does it? No, not at all. My uh, you know, the, it had its the benefits. Coon, the Coon family actually have many flat to, uh, floors on this tower. That's right. They do? Absolutely. They're one of the I... biggest families in the whole tower. Well, I knew that, but multiple many floors, of, huh? Many of them grow out, grow to be very powerful rankers. Hmm. You seem to know your stuff. I know a little bit. Interesting. Um, so, uh, I've asked my team about their points. Did How many did you get? If you're willing to say, Victor, I don't want to pry. Hmm? No, I don't care. I got 250. Okay. Uh. I, like, elbow Damien, like, really quickly, like, don't say <laughs> a word. That is more points than I got. Are we still with the inch doctor here? Sorry, what mm -hmm. was that? Uh, that I was talking out loud. Normally, I'm, I mute myself. Uh, oh, no, were we? Were we? To, uh, were we? Were Wu and I within inch doctor here? That. So I'm gonna say you. Table. I'm gonna say you like are coming back by the time you hear that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm visibly upset. <laughs> because he, he he beat me to get the point, so I'm just right. Upset. Oh no! <laughs> oh hey, what's going on, Brack? Nothing. Oh, Brack? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just deaf, <diff> you. <laughs> okay. Brack, what what happened? What ha You were so. Uh, is everything okay? I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna eat. Okay. He's <laughs> just kind of like perplexed about the sudden change in the mood. <laughs> just like, what happened? Right, right. Uh, Victor, have you seen Boris around any? I know he was kind of uncomfortable yeah. with the floor, but. Um... I he, This is between us, but I, I don't think he's very happy about the uh, special gift you all got. Or oh. we got from winning the crown game. He's kind of just. Being all moody, moody in his room. Yeah. Oh, boy. How could you be disappointed with a prize like this, though? Uh, Boris is uh, that's a uh, complicated history with his family. Yeah. I mean, Damien, you're pretty knowledgeable about the tower, apparently. What do you know about the Ari family? Um, I'm afraid not very much. Always a mystery to me. I know a lot about the Eon, the Eon family. The Coon family, 
the REA family, the Eurasia family, but not so much the the Ari family. You don't like, never know much about uh, Lopobia? They're pretty famous. They're famous for their anima users. Right, which I'm, you're an anima, so. I'm I, slam on, I slam on the table and get up. I'm done. What? That's I, good. Oh. Damien, remember what, we, what I said, and I just walk off and go back to my room. Uh, is he okay? I don't I think, know. I think so. He's probably upset about the little girl. It's a well, matter that will be settled. They've assured me that they will handle it like gentlemen and not do anything rash. So I trust them and I hope that they keep their word. Um, that was hmm. odd of him to get so upset talking about the ten families. Um, Damien, are you, are you related to them? Or is that, I don't know how anima work. Um, no, I am not related to the Lopobia family or any okay. of the other families that I mentioned. Right. Big that fans of Lopobia, though. Victor kind of goes, huh, are you not a frog? Um, I'm absolutely a frog. Really? <laughs> As you know, <laughs> As some of you may know, my father was Dominic Frog, famous anima user. And by famous, I mean not super well known. But I assure you, he was very strong. Never heard Just, of him. Uh, really? Not to mean offense, I mean, There's not a like lot I really of cared about. Yeah, the army's I, big. That's true, you know. That is absolutely true. I can't expect a regular to know that kind of thing. Right, right. <laughs> but maybe Scopio would know! Oh, uh, Damien, please Scopio? give that man a break. Scopio is also a famous ranker. Maybe he knows him. Oh, I mean, <laughs> that'd be quite a coincidence. The army's pretty big, but you got nothing to lose, I guess. Um, Damien, but... why do you have the look in your eye that you're going to go ask him right now? Rack, you can have my dinner. You can have my breakfast. <laughs> oh, no. oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, you can have the rest of it. Oh, uh, don't mind if I do. I scoop the plate over to myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no hesitation. <laughs> I, I get up from the table. It's like I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, Damien! No. Run over to Scopio's office. Oh dear. See, see ya. Uh. So what are your thoughts on the special training, Victor? Honestly, I thought they were gonna give us something cool. I was hoping for a weapon or some armor inventory. Not to, uh, you know, they Get that lectures. out on a training floor? I have no idea. I mean, probably uh, not, but a man can dream, right? Instead, okay. we're gonna get lectured from some old guy. But whatever. Well, what if it's like fighting training or something? I'm sure it will be, but he's just gonna hold back and he's gonna t teach us how to fight. I mean, come on, like, phew. I'm sure he's powerful, but from what I understand, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't strike me as that impressive. Well, you mentioned to Damien about him knowing about the RE family. What do you know about him? You're one of the, from the 10 great families. What do you know? He kind of kicks back. The RE family, they're an odd bunch. Rumor has it they have some sort of distant relation to the REA family, and so people kind of tend to compare them a little bit. Their names even sound similar. All we really know is that they like to use needles. Um, I mean, obviously I know more, but they're known for their needlework. But, I mean, Boris isn't wrong when he says that a lot of them, they don't typically like fighting unless it's for a good cause, and even then they tend to hesitate a lot. And I think that's hmm. Boris's problem. I think he's taking it in the other direction. He gets ahead of himself and looks. I look over at Brack and kind of trips himself up. Hmm. 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 Uh. Uh. What she said. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just keep, just keep eating, buddy. Just keep eating. Uh. I really do wonder where Gasu is, though. Or you said he was in the training hall, right? I mean, has he even eaten? Like, is he okay? I don't know. 
Do you want to go check on him with me? Uh, you know, probably not a good idea if I do. Uh, Why is that? I think he kind of wants to kill me. I'm going to have to sleep with one what? eye open. Why? I wish I knew. He just seems to hate me for some reason. All I've ever well, been is friendly to him. Well, maybe more interaction would help. Would help? I, maybe? Uh, I think our prickly boy just kind of needs some time to himself, personally. <sighs> Alright, um, what do you plan on doing the rest of the day, Victor? Nothing. You know, tomorrow, it's a week of class, so I'm just gonna <laughs> kind of relax the whole day. Much I, as I can. I understand you on that front, and I'm, mm, class. Yeah. It just, just gives me the blood. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, so, all right. So let's wrap, if you want to wrap it up now, because I'm going to cut to Damien here in a sec. Okay. Um, I'm just going to finish my food, get up, and then I'm going to start heading towards the training hall, say my goodbyes, and sure. away. All right. We oh. had already left, so Brack? Oh, I was going to say, before she go, I oh. was going to say the the training is not worthless. To kind of allude towards something. It's not worthless. It's actually uh, priceless information that you can get. You mean from Mr. Regulus? Yes. Yeah. I'm... Getting getting training from a high ranker is is very important. I agree. Have you had training with a high ranker? Was your father a high ranker? Actually, he was. Really? I kind of like come back a little bit. What position was he? He was a scout. Oh, did you want to? Why do you think I have that ability? You mean the teleportation? Yes. That was cool, I must admit. <laughs> I didn't know you had that in your bag of tricks. Yep. It only took me getting whacked on top of the head a hundred times before I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go in the training hall together later and I whack you a hundred more times on the head, will you learn some other skill? You won't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Eat eating gives a hearty laugh to that. I don't I don't think me versus you hand to hand combat would be fair. I'm I like to keep my distance when attacking as you've seen, so <laughs> But, but then I can always teleport up onto you. That is also true and terrifying. <laughs> but uh that's really interesting. I I better go check on, as Victor says, our prickly boy and make sure he's alright. But I agree the any training from a ranker is going to be very valuable no matter what we learn, whether it's lectures or fighting. So I'll leave you two roommates to it, and I'm going to go check on Gassi. I right. say my goodbyes and head off. All right, cool. So at this point, I'm going to have everyone mute except for Joe, except for Damien. <gasps> what? Wait, oh, my gosh. Well, bye. All right, guys, I'll make it quick. All right. It's just you and me, Damien. Damien walks into an explosion field immediately after leaving the cafeteria. Sorry, you got to make a new character. Yeah. Step on a landmine as I walk into Scopio's office. <laughs> you didn't know we had the whole thing booby trapped? Come on. Okay. Let me play some uh, music here. So as you walk towards the office, you open the double doors. And... You notice a set of, you know, you walk you, you walk down the hall. Um, you remember this hall from when you went to meet Ari Regulus. At the very end of the hall, there is the massive double doors. But before then, like lining the wall uh, to your left, you see uh, five offices. And a lot of them have like glass windows and you can see Scopio is in one of them. He's in the one in the middle. I knock on the door gently. He looks up for a second, sees it's you, and for a second he kind of, but then he perks up for a second. Gets up, opens the door. Come in, Mr. Frog. Hello, Mr. Scopio. Thank you for seeing me. I had a couple of questions, and I will try and be candid. It relates to my father, Dami uh, Dor Dominic Frog. 
I was wondering, did you maybe know him? He... He served Jihad's army. I know that, but... All records of him seem to be classified. And... Before I went, went to the tower, he disappeared ten years ago. Doing a mission for the Eon family, and I, I, I just... I don't even know where to begin to look. Damien, take a seat. Um, he sits down behind the desk and just looks at you. You shouldn't look into this, you know. All of these problems within Jihad's army and... Anything that deals with rankers, that's not for someone like you. I know. I know it's not my place at all as a regular, but he's the only family I have left. The only bo- the only ones I know who know where he went are the Eon family, but they were of no help at all. Damien, so I- you sorry, need to give this up. I'm sorry to tell you, but... I did know your father. We were in the same division, believe it or not. When you mentioned family this morning, and it reminded me that he also was an anima. We weren't close or anything. I only shared a couple words with him, but from what I understand, a lot makes sense. He kind of shakes his head. What happened to Dominic is tragic, but it's something that none of us should look into. Jihad's army tried looking into it, the families tried looking into it, but ultimately, I hate to break it to you, but your father was one of many rankers in the army, both of us, disposable, soldiers. We didn't have any fancy titles or ranks. While it was strange, stuff like that simply happens in the tower. I, if there's even a chance he's out there though, Do you not think that I have a right to know? He's the only family I have left in the tower. Mr. Scopio, I will do anything if you can give me any sort of clue. At least... I know nothing, Damien. And he kind of puts his hand on the desk. You ask too many questions. I understand. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? It's... Is he still alive? (sighs) That's something that none of us know. Do you think he's still alive? Damien. Wrong enough? When you become a ranker, perhaps then you can research this more, but just keep in mind that sometimes the truth can hurt. And loath as I am to admit it I don't want to see the regulars of this floor dying because they chased after some silly rumor I understand he's important to you but if I were you I would give up this wild goose chase I see thank you very much Mr. Scopio I will try not to bother you you know the couple of times I'd spoken with him he did mention he had a boisterous, annoying son. It makes a lot of sense now. But when he talked about you, now I realize it was you, I think he was proud of you. And you can tell when he's saying this, he's kind of just looking away. That is all. Enough for today. Please leave. I have work to do. Mr. Scopio, one more question, if you would. Not related to my father. Why did I enter the tower so late? Have this conversation with her testing administrator. They'll be able to help you much more than I. I see. Thank you, Mr. Scopio. And I leave. (sighs) All right. You walk out of the office, back through the double doors, and I'm going to go ahead and tag everyone. Looks like they're chatting in the chat here. 
<laughs> but they're having a full fledged conversation. <laughs> Hello. Oh Welcome boy. back, everyone. We have returned. You, you wouldn't have believed it. Damien asked for like a thousand lollipops from Scopio. It took forever to. <laughs> Honestly, that's very yeah. on character. And I just pointed it at the wrong time. Very on brand. He's like, can I start my own line of merchandise? You gave me so many yeah. lollipops. Yeah, I have a question though. Uh, next time we have to do that, it won't mess anything up if we all just jump in the private discussion instead, right? It. Um, it might. I'm, I can find a way because that would be fun if we if we do that. The problem is that I the way I have like OBS laid out is that the cameras like all six yeah. people need to be oh, in the call. Oh, like, oh, to be, like, oh, oh, yeah. true, 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 true. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that would be cool though. I mean, that's I'll, why I asked. Though that's why I asked. Yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, okay. So at this point, um, Brack, you are still eating in the you know cafeteria, and you see Damien exit out of the double doors. Um, Looking a little dejected, I would say. A little bit downcast from what you can see. I can give Breck a friendly wave. I wave back at him because he gave me the food. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta specify. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna say that some time passes, you know. Um, at this point, it was getting into the, the later, later in the morning. Now it's kind of getting into the afternoon of this day before class begins. Um, and does anyone want to do anything in particular during this time, leading into the afternoon? I was going to go talk to Gasu and then I wanted to do one thing after that, so. Sure, let's go ahead and do that, so. All right. You start heading towards the training hall. And Gasu, I assume you're still practicing that technique? Yes, Gasu, still hard at work. All right, cool. Eden, you walk in and you see Gasu getting into stance after stance, slice after slice. Just kind of like cucks her head and watches him for a couple minutes. You notice that like with each go around, he seems to be getting progressively more angry. Hey, Gasu. Eden, what do you want? Have you been in here the whole time? And she's like noticing like the sweat and everything and the broken needles. Mm-hmm. Gasu sort of like looks around the room and sees all the broken needles. And that's the first moment he's taking in realizing he's been in the room for a while. Yeah, been in here for a minute. Why? Did you get breakfast? I'll eat when I'm hungry. I'm not hungry right now. Are you sure? You seem to be kind of upset. I'm always upset. You don't have to tell me the full story, but is there a reason why? Is there anything I can do to help? No, not really. So what are you trying to perfect? I see you've taken out some aggression on some wooden needles here. Um, what are you, what is it that you're trying to do? Your s stance and movements, very interesting and very quick. Look, like, are you trying to improve on it? Well, usually in a fight, the person who gets killed is the one that doesn't move quick enough. I need to make sure I'm quick enough. Okay. Is this just a personal drive Eden, to want to get better? Or, sorry. Eden, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why do you care? Well, I have a bad habit of caring too much about people, even if I've just met them. And You've been running yourself into the ground since the day I met you. And it doesn't seem like you've ever had anyone to talk to, so... I was trying to help be that person for you if you wanted to open up. You didn't... I don't know if you remember, but... During that King of the Sea test... Yeah? I'm the one that nominated you to be the leader of this group. 
I happen to think that of everybody here, you're probably the most level-headed one. And if any of these fools plan on getting up this tower or making it through this alive, it'll be because of you. That being said, and clearly Gasu starts to like hesitate a little bit as he's speaking. I, uh, look, having people close to me, it just doesn't work. They often, actually always, end up dead. So do yourself a favor and do everyone else a favor. It's just best if you guys keep your distance. Well, Gasu, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to be the, I look down at the needles, the needle in your side. I tend to have that effect on people as well. So maybe we'll counterbalance each other. Gasu sort of picks up one of the broken needles and walks past Eden. I don't know about that. And then he makes his way towards the exit. Hey, Gasu. I'm serious, though. If you ever need to talk to anyone about anything, my door and my ears are always open for you, whether you want it or not. The offer always will stand. And she kind of, like, catches up to him in stride and, like, pats his shoulder on the way out and then walks past him towards the infirmary. And Gasu sort of takes a moment to look at the broken needle that he was holding in his hand and he watches Eden walk away and sort of has like a moment of reflection sure and then in a couple seconds snaps the needle in his hand all right so Eden you walk out of the training hall towards the infirmary the door is open and you notice that many of the people in here are no longer there. Like, you can see the sheets are kind of messed up, but mm. there's not that many people in here anymore. Okay. Um, you do recognize, uh, do you want to, like, start walking through the room? So she's just kind of, like, observing and seeing what she can see, and she's looking okay. for Leaf in particular. Sure, sure. Um, as you start walking down, you see, uh, you notice Lake is still in bed, the person you had to duel with, okay. and she kind of seems like um, she's awake. She's a little distracted. She's reading what appears to be some kind of magazine. So she doesn't see you. But, uh, and then you notice past her to the right, you see Leaf lying down in bed clearly. Okay. And I'll just kind of glance over at Lake. Hey, good fight out there. You feeling mm -hmm. better, any better? Oh, hey. I should be good for tomorrow. I'll have some bruises, but, you know, don't want to lose about any points. That. <laughs> oh, don't apologize. Just wish I had uh, put on a better performance. Um, uh, I'll be quite frank with you. I think I got lucky a couple times. If Had you hit me with your ignition weapon, um, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to get any range, and that would have been interesting. <laughs> I think the duel would have gone a very different way. It was a good battle. Definitely. It was. Where did you pick that up? It's a very impressive weapon. Well... And she kind of smiles. That's a bit of a secret. Maybe someday ah, I'll tell you. Fair. Totally fair. All right, well, I hope you get out of here soon. Infirmaries and hospitals are not my thing. <laughs> Thanks. And we're actually in the same class, so I should see you tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. All right. Yeah. And I'll head down to leave. Okay. And I'm keeping an eye open if, if Cal is still there, so I can make fun <laughs> you, of him. But you particularly notice that he's not there anymore. Ah, darn it! <laughs> I, so I make my way over to Leaf. All right. And I just kind of like watch her for a little bit and see if she like rouses or anything. But, and does she? Nope. Just chest rising and falling. Just very much asleep. Is there? Can I tell if there's anything like, like if this was? Like, does she have any, like, visible, like, bandages or wounds or bruising or anything? Right. Yeah, um, not that you can see. Um, you can tell that the she did have bandages um, on her head. Uh, you see, you do see this a light uh, scar across her forehead, but it does look like it's healing pretty quickly. Um, okay. Uh, that's all you can really see. Okay. Kind of on the side of her head a little bit. Yeah. Um, so Eden will just pull up a... Like one of those little rolling stool things. Yeah. And just yeah. kind of sit by her and uh, 
she kind of just starts like braiding her hair and brushing it out of her face and fixing her hair <laughs> while she sleeps. Okay. At this time, I'm going to say that some, you know, it, it was, it's been a little while since the whole breakfast thing, just to kind of move things along. I'm going to say mm -hmm. it's probably about like 4 p.m. at this point. Uh, okay. So does anyone else wish to do anything in particular? I'm just going to assume you all in your rooms or doing whatever. I need Gasu to come back to the room to, to do what I'm trying to do. So oh, whatever. got it. So Okay. Gasu is headed back to the room, so that works. Perfect. Okay. Wu, you're, right. you're, you're but, just chilling. But can we take our break first? Oh, yeah. Actually, this is a great a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, but gosh, I didn't realize how much time has passed. A lot of bonding today. All right. So we're going to take our break. Uh, and when we come back, we will continue with this sort of pre-class period of time on the second floor here. Uh, hopefully you're all enjoying. If you have been enjoying, don't forget to leave a like. It definitely supports the series. And at this time, we're going to share some memes and fan art from the previous week. We'll be back in about five minutes, so don't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, enjoy the memes. See you soon. It's so good this week. <laughs> uh... <laughs>
And we are back with more Towers and Gods. Thank you all for being patient during the break. Uh, amazing fan art, amazing memes, as usual. You guys are on point. Um, it's pretty fun, you know, we usually go up, you know, come back in a couple minutes and we just kind of watch the memes just because they're, they're all incredible. And the fan art, of course. Um, as a reminder, if you want to submit yourself, you can do so in the link down below and we will include it in next week's episode. So, currently we're, you know, it's still the night before the classes begin and we uh, are returning to Wu and Gasu. Gasu is entering the room. I'm going to say it's sometime in the afternoon. Like I said, 4 p.m., somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, Gasu enters. All right, so yeah. Gasu, when you enter, you notice that I haven't been drinking from my gourd in quite some time, but I'm lying down heavily drinking from the gourd and I seem to be in a bad mood. Okay. Gasu sort of walks over to his bed. He takes his sword and sets it down next to the, like, to the table next to his bed, and he lays in his bed and sort of sits there for a few minutes, and then, without looking over, just says to Wu, What's up with you? Oh, you're back. I didn't even notice. I was the training. I kind of get up out of the bed. Less than satisfactory, but it'll do for now. Always such a perfectionist. That Xion girl is pretty skilled. I caught a glimpse of her for a second. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Anyway. This doesn't seem to be going well, ma'am. I don't know, I thought I could keep it together, but I'm not sure that I can. Not to burn you with anything, but... I feel like we have an understanding, all the one spoken. You don't mess with the Ten Great Families either, do you? No, I don't. That's what I figured. I didn't want to bring it up as long as I could. I don't like bringing it up. I'm sure I'm not going to tell you now either. I know you respect that. But I gotta hash some things out with Damien. Might not be here tonight, man. I might have to break curfew after all. What about you? Um, that actually works. I, uh, I have to leave myself. Oh. Have anything to do with why you need to talk to Brad? I'm guessing that means he told you? Actually, no. Surprisingly. But he did say he was going to see you, so I figured. Yeah, it, uh has something to do with that. Huh. All right, man. Well, I gotta go scour this place for a few other drinks and some snacks to complement my beverage. But I'll catch hey. you later. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Hey, Wu, before yeah. you go, let yeah, me ask so you something. That guy, Victor, what's your honest take on him? Honestly, I mean, I can't tell with him. I can't put my finger on it, but it could go either way. He's either a spoiled brat from the Kuhn family, or he has ulterior motives. Normally I can tell, but he just lays it on so thick with the cheerful nice guy. <laughs> yeah, those Kuhns are pretty nasty like that. All of them. Just don't do anything too hasty, alright man? <laughs> Remember what happened back at that first island. I'm not gonna I, stop you, but... I won't do anything if you don't. Ah, uh, You don't gotta worry about me. And then I head out. Heading out. Oh. Alright. The door shuts behind you, and you're now in the hallway in the dormitory. I wanna go to the offices and see if anybody's in there. Sure, okay. You start making your way towards the office and you open the door and it lets you right in. Uh, it's not locked this time. And you see a bunch of offices lined up along the side of the wall, five in particular, and then if you walked past all of them, it would lead to the big double doors where you talked with our, uh, Ari Regulus. Got it. All right. Then let me look for uh, Nissan's room real quick. Sure, okay. 
So you notice, you can clearly see Scopio is in the middle cubicle or middle room and because there's a glass, uh, glass door and he's just working away at his uh, whatever he's working on. Um, but to his left, you, uh, you can see in the room that uh, it's a room with like stickers on it, uh, animal stickers and sparkles and stuff. So you kind of, you know, glance over that one. But to the left of that one, so the far left, um, you do see Nissan um, wearing his hat and everything. He's in the room, uh, seeming to be at his desk. As I as I go there, I knock on the window just to annoy <laughs> Scopio real quick. Scopio, uh, uh, okay, okay yeah. got it. Then I knock on uh, Nissan's door. Okay. He looks up and he kind of gets up and he smiles and opens the door. Hey, uh, come on in, come on in. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, <laughs> busy day. Kind of preparing for tomorrow's class, you know? Want to make sure we all have a good experience. How about yourself? I'm good, I'm good. But, you know, just trying to get to know everybody a little bit better. Can't talk to Scopio anymore. He doesn't really like me. But you seem to have a good vibe, <laughs> so I figured I'd stop by. You know, between us, uh, Scopio doesn't really like anyone, from what I can see. It's not your fault. You don't say. <laughs> well, you know, he is arguably, well, aside from Brooke, of course, probably the most famous out of the five of us, but doesn't seem to care about that stuff. But he still loyally serves Shahad. I say that under my breath. I don't think Nissan hears me. Right. Um, Looks like you a sec. Uh, have a seat. All right. So, man, tell me about yourself. And I pull out the gourd. You want a drink? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, what is there to really know? I grew up as a poor kid in the middle area, but apparently I had talent because I entered the tower one day and uh, <laughs> the climb began. Honestly, not that interesting of a climb, not that interesting of a story. It's got to be something that happened. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you make friends, and then those friends die. He trails off. Everyone dies, Nissan. Oh, tower trust works. me. I'm more than used to it. But that's but the tower. Had friends. It's not Just a fun getting... story, you know? Well, it is what it is. Can you tell me anything about the other instructors? Particularly mine, I'm curious. She doesn't seem to say much. Could you remind me of your name one more time? He looks through his notebook. Uh, you could just call me Wu. Wu, that's, that's right. Kesiki Wu. You're a scout, so your instructor is H1. Yeah, not exactly talkative, but H1 is really talented. You're going to have a good experience, I think, in your class, even if she's not charismatic, you know? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, if she's strong, she's strong. And if she can teach me how to be a scout, then I'll be a good student. Huh? What about the other two? I know well, about Brooke, but uh, the talkative one, she always liked that? <laughs> Must mean Charity. Yeah, she is. Charity is always bubbly and excited, uh, but she can be pretty scary when she's angry. Don't underestimate her. And then, of course, Brooke. I mean, she's famous. Um, she just recently started working here again. Uh, she's on hiatus from her singing career currently. But yeah, she's very friendly too. Um, Good to know. There, Good to know. Was there anything in particular that you wanted to talk to me about? or? Nah, you just seem like the one that would be most willing to talk. Figured you could give me <laughs> some information about everyone. I appreciate that. Woo, really. I mean, how about you? Do you... You have a story? Yeah, everyone has a story. We just met, so just like you didn't really give me much, I can't give you much either. But <laughs> you did cheer me up a little bit, dude. Catch you later. Hey, well, happy to hear that. All right, you, you have a good rest of your day, Wu, and good luck with the scout position. Thanks. And then I'm just going to go to the training room and meditate for a bit. Sure. Okay, Cut you're the soon. only one in there, so. All right. The day is ticking. Does anyone in particular want to do something other than sit in their room? Uh, 
Wu gets a little ping as he leaves Nissan's office and Eden sent him back a picture of her. She intricately did up uh, Leaf's hair and cleaned up her face and took a picture before she left. I sent her back like a bunch of heart emojis. My favorite <laughs> taking care her taking care of Leaf. And ask her if I should stop by or if everything's all right. I just messaged back like she's still asleep, but at least she's she's cleaned up better than what the nurses did. <laughs> Sounds good. And I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna see if I can't try and find Boris. Boris, okay. So you leave your room and give me one second here. Uh, okay. Do you want to like walk to the cap? Like, where do you, where are you looking for him? I, like, as I'm walking back from the infirmary, I'm like keeping my eye out for him, and I contemplate oh, I knocking on doors because gotcha. <laughs> there's a lot of doors. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you do not see him anywhere. I mean, it's pretty empty overall. Okay. Um, there's a couple regulars here and there. Uh, you know, you pass by uh, Cobra, the snake guy, but he doesn't really pay you any attention. And uh, you don't see Boris anywhere. Okay. Do I see anyone else in the halls besides Cobra or? You see Cobra. And then as you make your way back to the dorms, you notice like to your left, there's like an, another door and it's open. And it leads to um, a fairly spacious room, and this room actually has like some couches, a vending machine, and seems to be a place like some kind of common area. And there are a few regulars in here. You see Bell in there. Uh, you see Sponge. You know he's like ordering, a, you know, getting a drink from the vending machine. Mm -hmm. And All right. that's it. All right. So I'll go over to the vending machine. I'll buy some strawberry drinks. Um, okay. And then on my way out, um, hey, uh, Sponge, was it? Oh. Uh, and he kind of jumps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. What's up? Um, have you seen Boris around anywhere, or do you know what room he's in? But who's Boris? Oh, um, he was on my team during the crown game. Um, oh, that guy. Uh, nope, can't say I did. Okay. Um... What about you? I look over to the other person. He just kind of stares at you and shakes his head. Is everything all right? It's not your business. All right. You, you gentlemen have... You can tell he's not happy. This is Bell who uh, fought in the last round of the crowd. Ah, game. okay. He's not exactly, you know, thrilled. Yeah. Um... Well, you gentlemen have a lovely evening. Um, I'll turn and go back to the dormitories and um, sure. I'll pull up my pocket and see if I can't tell who's in what room. Okay. I don't, I don't know if it has that capability. But it does. Just... It doesn't. No. Uh, okay. Right. But while you while this is happening, uh, Damien, you in, you're just in your room, right? That's correct. You get a knock on the door. I answer the door. Uh, it's Victor standing outside. Hey, did you get my message or what? Never responded. I, yeah, um, sure. I can, I can meet up. <laughs> it's nothing much. Uh, can I come in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, the door shuts and he kind of makes himself at home a little bit, sits on Eden's bed. Hey, y you doing okay? Everything good? I just have a lot to think about. So what did you want to talk about? Look, man, I found this game, and I think it'd be really fun if we got everyone together and just had a little bit of a party before class tomorrow. What do you think? I, uh, it sounds great, Victor. I don't know how many people would be in the mood for the game, but I'm sure I could scrounge some people together. You, and he kind of leans forward, you sure you're okay? You haven't cracked a single joke yet. I just finished talking with Scopio. He and told me a few things. Gotcha. I don't even know if the answers I'll find 
or even on the tower or if it's even worth pursuing you can tell he's kind of uncomfortable doesn't know what to say uh, um I do know one thing doesn't hurt to just relax you know and this game is really simple I think it'd be pretty fun if we just played it maybe you'll forget about some of your worries what game is it it's called no dice and he holds up like a box set of dice it's really simple you got some chips you got some dice and you basically just gamble away a little bit until you have a winner and Hraisfelger like jumps up <laughs> okay. <they> <laughs> gamble gamble <laughs> oh no he's addicted to gambling <laughs> Started with popcorn. Is that, is <laughs> that right, buddy? <laughs> I'll start something. Felger like ribbits, like ribbit, ribbit, like a whole bunch, and it's like, okay. yeah, buddy, you know this game? You think yeah. we have a chance of of sweeping the floor with the Coon family? <laughs> you know, I played this game a little bit back at my place, and uh, it's pretty fun, honestly. Very simple. So. <laughs> Maybe I'll challenge you, little froggy. Kind of looks at Harry Spelger. Don't, uh, don't, don't do that. It's, it's. He's deceptively smart and cunning. <laughs> and he gotcha. likes the, the the little guy likes to cheat too. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. Do you ever wonder why he has so much popcorn? <laughs> it's so messed up. I don't even know how. It's not like I'm making popcorn every day. He just has it. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. That's... He's hoarding popcorn, the little monster. Where, um, where do you keep all this stuff that you keep? Uh, never mind. Look, <laughs> I think they're not going to listen to me because half our team doesn't even like me. But everybody likes you. You're the jokester. Come on, let's get together and let's let's get everyone together in the uh, in the common area. It'll be fun. Jokester. I am unfamiliar with the concept. I You're funny, man. I have been 100% serious this whole time. <laughs> Very funny. Kind of claps him on the back. Well, all right. come with me. Come on. Let's go get everyone. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. And he leaves the Great. room. And go, go you ahead. run right into Eden. Because she was right outside the door. Oh. Uh, oh. Hi. Hey. Hey. What hey. are you doing here? Uh... It's not what it looks like. I'm just kidding. So, look. Well, I was just, you know, chatting away with Damien. We have an idea. An idea? He wants, to, he wants to rope us in for a game. What kind of game? A dice game. Oh. Why does this sound bad? It actually sounds quite fun. Are you going? Um, I think so. There's something I need to take care of, but I'm definitely going to show up. All right. I mean, and uh, you know, you're, you're just responding a little bit, and, Dan, and Victor kind of he's walks past Eden a little bit and kind of whispers just really quietly. This might help cheer him up. I kind of give him a sideways glance, kind of half nod as I turn towards uh, Damien. Damien, and I pull out of the pockets of my hoodie that I have tied around my waist. I pull out a strawberry drink for him and I pull out a strawberry <laughs> drink for Victor and hand it to him. And, Yo. and I was like, oh, if you don't, I look at Victor, I was like, if you don't like this, you just give it to Brack. That'll make your whole roommate situation go really, really well. I promise. Wow. Thank he you really likes much. this. And you're looking at the bottle and you're, you know, realizing that it, you recognize the wave controlling testing administrator, but she obviously looks very different. And believe it or not, I actually have an image that you see. <gasps> the image, it's not on the bottle, but it is yeah. Brooke in her show attire. Ooh. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. So that is what <laughs> you all Very different. See. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. That's awesome. Yes. So, a little so bit I of a bonus a... detail there. Yeah. So I give a strawberry drink to Damien, I give a strawberry drink to Victor. Are we going now to play this game? Or is yeah. it just- Well, is we uh, need we need to scrounge up everyone. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping you can get Gasu and uh, Bracken <laughs> on this. <sighs> that it conversation is, uh, didn't go well. 
Um, but I'll try. Be, it won't be an easy conversation, but I think you can do it. Yeah, Gasu and Wu are in room two, aren't they? I can go get them if you want. I, uh, I think I'll try and get Wu. He wanted to discuss something with me as well, so. Okay. Two birds with one stone, I think. Uh, and I'll... uh, you sure? You don't want us to go with you? Yeah. Yeah. It should uh, be fine. Okay. And All be right. sure to rope in any regular you can. Any, wait, wait I don't <laughs> I don't know about any regular, Damon. Let's calm down. I was thinking we could kind of keep this between us, you know? Oh, kind of get so, the main squad the... together. This wasn't like a whole floor thing? No! Good God, no! <laughs> oh. Come on! Hey, Damien, Damien, I, from what I can gather, I think he means the six of us from King of the Seas. Yeah, I mean, if you run into, you know, people that we know are cool, then that's fine too, but let's not make this, you know, 40 <laughs> people. He said you only can, the cool kids. <laughs> you, can, you hear the gears like turning. Cat. That's what he's really saying. <laughs> you hear the gears turning in Damien's head, like, invite everyone I know on this floor. Da Damien. Okay. Damien, just, just the six from the original group. People okay. that I know. No, 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 no. Instructions are clear. <laughs> Me and Grace Velger will invite everyone that I know. <laughs> Damien. I quickly type on my pocket a list of people. These people. And it's just the the four that we don't have with us. Or the okay. the three that we don't have with us. Sure. Those one. We'll go get Brack. Victor and I will go get Brack. You get Gasu and Wu. And we'll meet up in the cafeteria? Um, oh, we can meet up in the common room. room. Common room, perfect. Yeah. Although there, yeah, let's do that. You go get Gasu and Wu, and we'll go get Brack. Okay. You get it. What are you gonna go do? <laughs> I'm going to invite Gasu and Wu. And that's it. And that's it. No one else. Okay. Hey, wait. Where's Race Felger? Horace Felger is part of you, Damien. He's part of your soul and your person. He's always invited. That's right. That's not true. Horace Felger is my friend. <laughs> you can't be friends with your own soul. Yes, all right, you just can. go. Just go, Damien. Come on. Oh, we don't gosh. have all day. <laughs> you immediately. Gosu, Wu, Horace <laughs> Felger, and yourself. Come to the common room when you've collected all of them. Go. In instructions are clear. Okay. All right, go. Please. Uh, all right. And I start running towards the infirmary, because that would be the first place I would think to look for Wu. Oh. Okay. Wu, where are you currently? Uh, I'm where would you walking, have been spending your time? I was meditating in the training hall. I'm actually walking back through there, heading back to the dormitory. Oh. So we'll probably meet up. Yeah, Damien, you enter the cafeteria, and not at the infirmary, but you see Wu crossing the cafeteria towards you. I see him, but I have... I'm going towards. I'm going to the infirmary. Okay. I see. I see him rushing towards the infirmary, so I just follow him. Sure. I'm glad to talk to him anyway. Okay. You enter, Damien. What do you want to do? I would like to go immediately to Cal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I went it wasn't there. Yeah. I already checked. <laughs> I went. I go over to Thank Leaf's. You. I go over to Leaf's bed. Aww. And I look over. And I think for a, I think for a while. Well, you're entering and, and seeing this. Yeah, I I just stand there quietly for a few seconds, just watching. It. And I see Wu. That uh, do I see that Wu? No, far? no, you can't. You can't know. Well, unless right. you want to roll to notice me. No, that's fine. That's fine. I think you're pretty focused on this. I think about what Scopio said, and that if all of it isn't worth it. Then why did I hurt Leaf? Why did a little girl have to get hurt? Are you thinking why this or saying this? I'm 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 thinking it. Okay. But I do say that. I hope you can hear me. Because I just wanted to apologize for what I did. That move that I used. 
I don't think it was intended to be used on little girls. And that life is precious. That the only thing you're guaranteed is that you get to live. And that I hope I didn't snuff her out. And that maybe my I have good intentions. That I want to make the tower a better place. But my actions clearly spoke differently. You're saying this, right? Yeah. And that I'm sorry. That I'm so, so, so sorry. And that I hope more little girls don't... I wish for a tower where more little girls don't get hit by waves of sheer energy. And I leave the uh, the strawberry drink signed by Brooke on the table. And I leave. Before he turns around, I scream out, What are you doing? And I and I and I look back and I say, finishing the job. And then I and then I immediately storm towards him, as if I'm about to grab him. And I give I him a it. hug. <gasps> and then I let go. I look him dead in the eye. Damien, I heard everything you said, but even if I hadn't, what I wanted to tell you was this. I need you to hit me. Haven't I done that enough? Just do it. Please. Do I need a roll? No. You don't need to. I hit him directly in the forehead, but very lightly. Like, you know, in the anime. In the anime, when you just like... Ugh. The mega flick? Yeah. <laughs> Take Got this it. full hit, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I don't think I was really mad at you so much as I was mad at myself. I trusted you, and I banked on that trust. I don't normally do that. And the result of that was that one of the few people I've ever found in my life that I cared about got hurt. And when I saw her lying there, I just couldn't control my rage. It's okay. I really don't have any ill feelings toward you or Leaf. I know you don't. I, I, I've I, been so obsessed with climbing the tower that I can't believe I was willing to do something so awful. You never were, Damien. I don't know. Something seems different about you. But cheer up. You're never the kind of guy to do something that awful. And that's what I saw in you. That's probably another reason I got so mad. That's all I wanted to tell you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Also, sorry for freaking out during breakfast. I just... I try and keep my cool, but... I can't deal with all the cheerful talk about the great families all the time. I'd appreciate it if you just tried to keep that to a minimum around me. Especially when it comes to yeah. the Lopobia family. It's all an act, you know. My cheerful demeanor. What do you mean? Underneath, I'm just a very lonely person. Well, we got that in common. That's why I thought I could have so much fun with you when we got to that first island. It the was. Kind of it you was just wanted some friends, too. Yeah. Well... You don't have to worry so much. Lee's gonna be okay. And I'm sure she's gonna appreciate the present you got her. It was very hard to... Well, I don't think Race Felger understands, will understand, but... I'm sure he will in time. Well, just know, man, if you ever need to talk about anything, I'm here. And I'll try and be more open with you as well. Thanks, man. Hey, um, so there's like this thing that, uh, that Victor is doing, and, uh, he invited all of us. 
What is it? A uh, a dice game. Oh! Are we betting? <laughs> uh, yeah. There's gonna be gambling. That's uh, <laughs> the main reason I was gonna do Why it. Why did you say so before? Let's go! Well, like, we were having kind of this, this moment together. It yeah, felt yeah, kind of weird to bring it up. Touchy-feely, we're boys, <laughs> now let's go gamble! Yeah, I, um, I have to go get Gasu, though, as well. Well, he's at my I, room, we can go together. Yeah? You don't think he's at the training room? Or the training area? No, I think he has other plans for later in the evening. He should still be there. Yeah, okay. By the way, well, then. Huh? hold on. Let's not tell Eden or anybody else that we're good now. Kind of want to mess with them a little bit. That's probably not cool, man. <laughs> It'll be fine. I... okay. All right, let's go. All right, you and... you head out of the room. How did the infirmary... Were you going to say something, Damien? No, I just... I just want Wu to tell everyone that that whole thing about me being excited all the time sure. being an act just keep that on the down low yeah i mean everything that just happened in this room is between us man don't tell anybody anything i said either especially not the comment about the, f the particular family i mentioned not even eden nobody she would be the most understanding damien all right okay but you have to make me a promise that we will one day open up to the rest of the group. As long as I know I can trust them. And then I pat Leaf on the head. All right, come on, come on, come on. We're gambling. As we're walking, I put my fist out for it to be bumped. As we're walking I, out of the infirmary. I return the fist bump. Boom. Sorry. All right, you leave the infirmary. Do you want to like you're heading to go get um, Gasu? Gasu. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So okay, really quick. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the chat is hit as a chat. Sorry. Okay. Whew. You leave the infirmary, and you're going to give me one sec. Uh, okay. This is interesting. We we have like so many layers going on. People are messaging me in this group, <laughs> <laughs> making plans, and I'm like, okay, all right, cool. I think I, I think I get it. We're good. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> we're good. All right, cool. So uh, you're gonna go get Gasu, and uh, we're gonna cut really quickly back to Eden and Victor. Uh, so we're gonna go get Rack. Yeah, well, you're in. Was it room uh, 11, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. I think so. I, I, think so. <laughs> I actually don't have the room numbers in front of me right now. Yeah, room 11. That's let's what go. I have one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know more than me. Here we go. Yeah, I, I have a list now. Room I'm 11. A proficient note taker. <laughs> yes, I approve. All right, room 11 it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So we, okay, let's go. All right. Over to the room. He just, he doesn't even knock. He just scans the, scans it and opens up. Hey, uh, big guy. As uh, <clears throat> as they walk in, I'm I'm there, kind of shadow boxing. And okay. when he say, "Hey, big guy," I kind of turn around, swinging. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> I don't I, I don't hit him though. <laughs> okay, yeah. he's like visibly no. surprised though. I I'm go. Black. Hey. Uh, Hi. I, I wasn't going to hit him. I okay. practice. Practice. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Totally. Um, you want to play a game? What kind of game? Dice gambling a little bit with some chips. What do you think? And I pull out another strawberry water from my hoodie. All right. Let's go. What? <laughs> 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 Before you and, leave and the Eden's second floor, mind. you gotta like, <laughs> yeah. In Eden's mind, she's like, "These are so valuable. It makes no right. sense. <laughs> but I'll keep getting them." <laughs> I I feel like before you leave this floor, you gotta just stock up on like a hundred of them. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, and then uh, Wu and uh, Wu and Damien, 
Headed over to uh, Gasu's room. Can you guys gonna open the door? Uh, no, I, I tell Wu we need to have a game plan or else he's gonna decline us outright. You're not wrong. What do you have in mind? I figure we say it's a group training session. <laughs> if you tell him... And we can say it's like a tournament and that Coon Victor will be there. Now that makes a lot more sense. He might be interested in that. Yes. And of course the prize is like a box load of strawberry water, which I'm pretty sure he secretly loves. <laughs> Everybody loves it. It's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> alright, that's our game plan. <laughs> alright, alright. Let me let me let me ease him into it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you lead because if I start with best buddy Gasu, it might immediately turn him off. Alright, let's go in. Alright. Gasu, you hear no, a knock on the no, door? We don't, we don't knock. I got a Oh, you just open it. Alright, alright. Right, right. Yo, Gasu, you here? Gasu is laying on his bed, like with his arms back, eyes closed. And then I tell Wu to change her plan, and then I yell, Best Buddy Gasu! Oh, here we go. <laughs> Wu, please tell me there's a very good reason for being in this room. Yeah, about that, Damien, I told you to let me lead. Uh, we had an idea that we thought you'd be into. Trust me, it's nothing stupid, but we're gonna have a tournament? You know, spar a little bit before tomorrow. What do you, what do you say? And the prize oh. is a big box of strawberry water. Yeah, but, but, but. <sighs> you come? Well, first off, if Damien's involved, there's no way this idea isn't stupid. Second off, I've been training all day. I think I'm just going to lay down. Haven't you ever wanted to fight me, though? No, Damien. Wanting to hit you is not the same thing as wanting to fight you. I don't know. All right, it man. will be a test of strength. And Coon Victor will be there. Oh. Don't you want to prove yourself to that guy? Even less of a reason to get up. I'll pass. Oh, come on! Uh, so don't you have that thing to take care of later? Why don't you just pass some time before then? You know, you're spending all this time alone. It's not good. <sighs> if I say I'll go, but I'm not playing, will you leave me alone? As long as you come. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, I'll go. Gasu, like, reluctantly, you know, rolls out of his bed All and right. he grabs his sword. But I'm not staying long. All right, sounds good. And I look directly into the camera and I give like a face like, oh. <laughs> what camera? All, all right. I didn't know Damien was breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the office, isn't it? That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you all start to head down to the common area. And at this point, I'm going to say the other group has already made it back. Um, so and when so Eden, Victor, Brack, when you, you walk into the room and you only see one person there. They're just sitting on the couch. Um, it's Sponge from earlier. It seems like he's just kind of sitting there. Reading a magazine. And he kinda of puts it he notices you all coming and kinda of gets up and kinda of motions to walk out of the room. And then uh, he just walks past you, walks out of the room. And then uh, a couple minutes later, you see Wu, Damien, and Gasu enter the room as well. Hey, well, you made have it! Arrived. Yes, we have arrived and brought Gasu. Good job. Me. Hey, <laughs> hey, let's go. It's <laughs> exciting. Anyway, uh, this is our first time together since what? When we entered the Hall of Regulus? It's kind of exciting. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, Victor, I, I, I hear we're gambling. Is that true? That's really the only reason I'm here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, well, so the game comes with some chips. I mean, do we do we want to bet something else? Do we want to put something else on uh, at stake? I mean, it's no fun otherwise. 
But what could we bet? What does everybody have? I don't really care what we use, but it has to be something worthwhile. Right. How about secrets? Hmm. All right. I mean, I don't uh. really think everybody here is cool with that, but I don't mind because I'm going to win. I agree to these right. terms as well. Uh -oh. okay. Brock is still docile because of the strawberry drink. <laughs> <laughs> we found this kryptonite <laughs> all right so this game is called no dice it's super easy super simple um we can do it in like a tournament fashion we can take turns going back and forth but the way it works is the number 21 we have a six-sided die here and i roll this six-sided die as many times as i want until i get as close as possible to that number and then the next person goes and they try to beat my number if they do, they win the gamble. If they can't, or they pass 21, I win the gamble. That's basically all the all there is to it. It's really simple. Okay. Sounds interesting enough. Okay, okay. Now, instead of betting chips, what we could do is have each chip represent some part of our past. I mean, I feel like we've known each other long enough to... Share some juicy info, right? Gasu picks up his sword at the mention of that and turns around. All right, I'm out of here. But, uh, you don't have to whoa, play, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gasu, you said you weren't playing anyway. Just, just, just. Sit and listen. What's it gonna hurt you? Why do you guys want me here? Because. Because apparently you need some sort of help and companionship, so sit down and stop complaining. What makes you think like, I need Eden anything? Eden is like genuinely like annoyed with how prickly he's being. Okay. Although we can't force it. If you no. want to spend time with us, then I guess I understand. Uh, so you got some time to kill before whatever it is you said you had to do, right? I say this like very quietly to him. Just stay so I don't have to be alone with all of them and Damien. And Gasu sort of like I, I turn around and give a thumbs up to Damien. Gasu <laughs> like turns to to Wu. You owe me. Fine, fine. Just sit down. As a matter of fact, play with me. I'll offer up a secret for your turn. <sighs> I do this. All, All right, right, so Gasu's playing, guys. He's, oh, he's playing. Huh? All right, we have six people. Let's go. But I'm not saying anything. How did you do that? <laughs> of course, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Davey and I have agreed to use our secrets for Gasu's chips. Wait, mine too? <laughs> 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 right. yeah. I feel like these rules are getting very convoluted, but if y'all can keep them straight, sure. All it is is every time the opposing team earns a chip, that's one secret that you have to tell. Amy, we won't lose. Just go with it. No. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Okay. Wait, where's Freisfelger? We could even... Hmm. And he's kind of thinking, is there any other way we could mix up the game? Nah, probably too much. We don't want to make it too complicated. So let's just start with these rules so I can wrap my mind around it with all their... Sure. And he, yeah. All he their... He goes and sits down in the middle of the floor on the, on the rug. Come on. Hey. Right. I move to the exit and I and I just scream out into the into the dormitory. Hooray, Spelger, the game starting! <laughs> <laughs> Damien, can he even get out of our room without a key? Uh I think he was searching for people to play the game. D Damien. I what? don't think I don't think it'll be a problem. Well let's uh, just play. Can't you just summon him? That's not how it works. Oh my gosh. Ah, so Eden sits crisscross applesauce next to Victor on the rug, just like, oh my gosh, they, they can deal with it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm off duty. Adam, I it, <laughs> but I'm not a very good one. Yes, we realize that, Damien. I want to I wanna check the dice and make sure there's nothing wrong with them. Because I recall okay. a, a moment in my past where I lost a gamble because the opponent cheated with way Got dice. You. Got you. Go ahead and roll investigation. 
I'm gonna grab a song really quick. Ooh. Uh, special, but I think it would fit the mood. And, uh... 16? 16? Nice. There's nothing at all wrong with the dice. It's just a bunch of uh, six-sided dice. Nothing wrong. You're very confident in that fact. Let me do this. All right, so I didn't give much thought to, uh, you know, the order of things, but maybe if we all sit in a circle and we face one opponent to one side and then face an opponent to the other side, maybe? Sounds good to me. All right. Do we want to do it so that the secrets are told as soon as we lose them? As soon as we lose our uh, chips? Yes. That is the best way to play. So potentially, even though we only have, what, three chips each, we could end up telling more secrets than that. By the way, the secrets, and he's like, this guys, the secrets, they can't be something stupid. You got, it's got, they gotta be kind of juicy, okay? Oh, I don't know if I have a juicy secret, but I will do my best. How about you go first so when you lose, I can get a gauge of what you mean? I don't think I should go first. No, I'm talking to Victor. <laughs> Me? I'm totally fine with it. I mean, this is my idea. Uh, okay. And he just, you know, again, he's sitting down. Anyone who wants to fight me can sit here. I boldly sit down. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ah, the frog wants to play. All right. Bring it on. Now, it may not be as good as Hreisfelger, but I'm pretty good. Fair enough, enough fair to... enough. Hreisfelger's taught me some of his tricks. Okay, so do you want to sit to his right or left? I'm going to sit to his left. Okay. Now, come on. We all got to be sitting down. We got to know the order of things. Let's make this fair. Uh, I was already sitting him. next to him, so gotcha. I'll, okay. I guess I'll be on his right then. Sure. I'll, okay, okay. I'll sit down next to Damien. Okay. Then I'll sit so. wherever spot is left. <laughs> <laughs> next to who well, I was going to say. Yeah. Brack, you can sit in between Gasu and Eden. Yeah. All right, so I'll face Damien. Wu, you can face Gasu, and Eden, you can face Brack. All right. Now, just to be clear, we're only telling the secrets to the one that beats us, correct? Or do we share with the, the whole group? Oh, come on. I mean, what's the point? You got to share with the whole group. All right, just making sure. I also agree to these rules. Okay, this will be fun. And we'll say that we'll we'll come up with something special to the person who can collect the most chips, or all the chips. I, that way there's actually um, a point to it. I got this whole case of strawberry water. But you, really? You got a whole case, David? Wait, where, when? How? Well, it's, they were loading the vending machine and I just kinda <laughs> saw it and I just kinda took it with me. Uh, Damien, Damien, you can no. lose points for that. Damien Scopio saw you for sure. Oh, shoot. Damien. Well, I'll, I, I, it's, I mean, it's not too late to return it. Just put it on top of the vending machine mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. I'll just. Eh, Don't let's, let, <laughs> Wait, does Brad now that we know, well, now I that guess we that, know about it, if we take one, we're accomplices. Well, how about it's the prize? If I, I'll lose points if I don't take it back, so I have more incentive to win. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, the logic checks out. Okay. As long as he's responsible for it, Ian. Let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's, you know, come on. You're going to be attending class. You're going to, you're going to pass. Come on. Let's do it. Sure. All right. No, I hope you he'll only blame Damien anyway. <laughs> All right, Damien. Yes. Kind of looking for a reason to blame Damien for a lot of things. <laughs> Damien, it's you and me round one. We each have three All chips, right. everyone. You can bet as many as you want. <clears throat> All right. Damien, I'll let you choose. How many How many uh, chips do you want to bet? I am going to bet two. Ooh. Fine by me. He sticks two chips in. But that means I got to roll first. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. And he rolls the dice. Four. Two, so six, 10, 13, 15, 19. And he stops. Your turn. Uh, what, what dice am I rolling? 1d6. 
1d6. And I'm trying to get to 21. That's right. You gotta beat my score. And if we tie, right. we just go another round. I get it. We're playing blackjack with dice right now. Pretty yes. much. Yes. Yeah. Six. Um. One. One. Wait, so ta tally the one. score for me so I can... I've got nine so far. Okay, I got okay, a six okay. and then three ones in a row. Two. So That's 11. 11. 11. Three. 14. Four. Uh, 18. 18. Oh. Ooh, what you gonna do, Frogman? One, 19. <laughs> You could roll again roll if you want to beat me. If I bust, I lose, right? Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah I may as well. The next round. I may Go as well. well. All right. Maybe you know. Oh, that's a three. Oh. Bust, All right. Oof. Edge of my seat, but I'm impressed you actually went for it. What What would happen in the result of a tie? He would, would just go again. do again, yeah. Oh, I should have just gone again! <laughs> Damien, we explained, we explained the rules, Damien! I forgot about that. Well, I actually, no. I, I was pretty confident in getting my one after my three in a row one stint. Right. Okay, well, that means I win the round. How about we share our secrets once everybody has a chance to go? So, Damien, you have two secrets you gotta share. All right. Um... But we'll wait until the other teams can finish their game. All right, Wungasu. And we, I can't verse Gasu though because since I'm exchanging right. secrets on his behalf, oh wait, yeah, yeah. then it would just yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Victor wasn't really. Wait, yeah, do you want to swap? Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna challenge Victor. Straight up. Okay, well he's in the middle of the game with uh, Damien, so. Oh, he's still. Oh, they're they're playing. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're all, right, all playing at the Rob. same time. You can pay Rock. attention to the other games. Mm -hmm. Woo versus Brack. Okay. Oh, okay. right, yeah, Brock, yeah. Okay. Just because I feel like since we're both on roll 20, it'll go quick. Sure. True. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. Go ahead. Right. I need to copy this command. Hold up. You could just hit up on uh, the up arrow key. It'll oh. put the last oh. command that you got. Yeah, yeah okay. it should save it. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay. using command prompt. So that's four, four nine, nine, nine. Mm -hmm. uh, 15. 15. Took me a second. <laughs> me too. 18. 18. 18. You want, you, you want to chance it? You want, yeah, you know you want to. <laughs> oh, oh that's 21. 21. Yeah. All right. So for those of you, I wish I could show the roll 20. I apologize, everyone. 21! Wu rolled a 21. Woo rolled a 21. Okay. Let's, Rack. let's, let's, let's see. <laughs> Arn Jesus, take the, the wheel. Four. We have four. Nine. Nine. Uh, Nine. 11. 11. Yep. 10, 10, 10, 10. Give me two fives. Give me two fives. <laughs> Shiza, three. Uh, so 14. 14. 14. 14. Uh, 18. 18. Oh, yes, oh, my goodness. What? We got to go again. Here we go well, again. We oh, didn't specify how many chips we were betting anyway, so that's good. Oh, true, true. Oh. I'm going to oh, say since three. we went first, Brack would play. Yeah, you go there. first. Yeah. Uh, oh, bank six. Wait, how many chips do you want to bet, Brack? Oh, oh. Uh, we could bet two. All right. All right. We have three, so two. All right, so we got eight. Little six and a two. Uh, 13. 13. Uh, 19. 19. Yo, I'm rolling a little too high. <laughs> 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 19 right now? Uh, I'm going to stay. All right, Brack is staying at 19. 19. Four, seven, ten, ten, ten twelve. 12. 16. 16. 21. Oh 21 God. again. Woo, you you're cracking. Yeah. There's a reason Woo likes gambling because he's good at it. Woo is cracking. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? I'm mad at myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what would you have gotten? You would have oh, gotten, gotten 21. You would have gotten 21. Uh, 
one. Oh, oh shoot. Wow. Oh, shoot. Secrets from Brock. Can't roll oh, my shit yeah. in combat, but when it comes to gambling, I got this. <laughs> the stakes are low. Right. Okay. Right, so I'm down so one you coin. lose two chips over to Wu. Five and one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eden and uh, Gasu. And so Who's betting? Who bets? <laughs> it's up for you two to determine. Well, Gasu, you're not really betting, are you? I'm betting Wu, with, or I'm betting with Wu. I'll go first. I'll bet. Uh, just, think of, just think of his chips as my secrets. So okay. He can, just, he can just, bet whatever he wants. She just puts in one, then. Okay, one chip each. That so means you, get, you go first, Gasu. Oh, yep. I go first. Okay, okay. Yep. All right, We got that physical dice. Three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Four. Seven. So seven, yeah. No, 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 like a three and a one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, four. Go ahead. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you count. Gotcha. Yeah, you, you, you calculate. Five. Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. 18, and I'm going to stay. That's, that's pretty safe. Okay. Oh, all right. Eden's oh, turn. okay. So six. Yep. Three is nine. Three again is 12. Plus one is 13. Plus two is 15. Where did you stay at? 18? Yeah, 18. So I have 15. Plus four is 19. All right. Nice. Winning a chip over to Eden. So even though Wu won, looks like he's still uh, <laughs> he's so. still lost. <laughs> don't worry, Gasu. Don't worry. The next chip's on Damien. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> one chip left. Oh, no. chip. All right, all right, all right. The rounds are over. Looks like Damien, you owe us two secrets. Brack, you owe us two secrets, and Gasu, that was a secret. Let's hear him. Damien, you want to start? And he looks, you know, super excited. Well, I suppose I can I can give you a couple of my secrets. All right, all right. Believe it or not, before climbing the tower, I had a part-time job at a convenience store. Really? Yeah, I was a humble retail worker, and then I got into the tower. What did you what did you sell? Uh, drinks, much like the strawberry water, candy bars, newspapers and whatnot, news on the other floors of the tower, magazines and whatnot. Huh. That's pretty cool. Maybe not for, um, someone like you, Mr. Coon family. <laughs> but you know, I, I had I... to live and pay for my rent and stuff. Sounds like you had it kind of rough. That I wasn't mean... that bad. You know, sometimes I kind of long for that. I would always, I don't know. I was bored. I'd do anything sometimes. Just do whatever. Okay, but you have another In secret. Insight oh, check on Victor. Insight for what? For him saying if he was so bored, he'd do something like that. Oh, sure. E Eden doesn't believe he would ever do that if he was even that bored. Got you. Oh, I roll a natural one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you... yeah. I'm mesmerized by his blue hair and blue eyes. I'm just like, ah. Just kidding. <laughs> you, can't, you can't read Victor. You just can't nope. read him. Nope. Can't read him. Man, he turned okay. on his coon powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you have another secret, or do you want to keep going down the line, and we'll come back to you? Um. Yeah, we can come back to me. Okay. Uh, Brack? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much an open book, but I'll, <laughs> there are some things that I've kept secret. Okay. Uh, when we were talking in the cafeteria, and I mentioned something about va training with the high ranker being valuable, the yeah. one who raised me was a high ranker. Oh. Found me in Whoa. the middle of the tower. I was abandoned. What? Oh. That's terrible. That wasn't terrible. He grew me up to be big and strong. 
Yeah. Huh. I'm so well, I'm... jealous. <laughs> you want to be have... abandoned, Damien? No, to have a teacher who's oh. willing to teach you so much things. <laughs> uh, well, well, hold, hold, hold up there. Hold your horses. He, it, 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 it wasn't like that. I only learned one move from him. And it took me to get the crap kicked out of me in order for me to learn the move. Oh, that's the one you mentioned in the training room earlier. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's an impressive move. I'll give you that. Seems like it was worth it. Definitely. Uh, what was your dad's name? His name was Kane Song. Kane Song? Yes. I Interesting. Could, maybe I shouldn't have even asked. I could count for another one of your secrets if you want. <laughs> it well, he had to give up it. too, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely exactly. two secrets, Victor. Don't push your luck. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. One. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wu, I guess it's your turn. All right. Well, might as well just tell you this. You guys have asked me a couple times, but... The drink that I keep drinking out of my gourd, uh, you would think I would have ran out by now, right? Well, hmm. I'll just say that as far as the strength of the drink, it's well over 20% alcohol. But and oh. there's a lot of secrets to this gourd that make it so I wouldn't run out easily. Hmm. Huh. So it's like an endless, bottomless gourd? Well, I mean, I think that counts as a secret. I don't really need to reveal anything particular, do I, Victor? <laughs> you told us enough. This guy plays it. He plays, he's rough. <laughs> but still, I never even thought about it. Never-ending gourd, huh? Interesting. I just well, figured he kept putting strawberry water in it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, to mix the two. Uh, tried to mix the two? Yeah, earlier today, actually. Was it good? Pretty tasty, not gonna lie. I, was I say think anything one... tastes good with the strawberry drink. <laughs> I would say fair. the one swig I had. And it was it was strong. It was really strong. And the same. I didn't want to look like a like a wimp though. But it the was most strong. strong. I'll readily admit I don't like burning liquids down my throat, but I needed it in that situation. The most important thing that it was flammable. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Damien, you are... All right, let's let's move on. Speaking of uh, you, Damien, you have one more secret. Oh, Rack? I was going to say, uh, before we move on, uh, you said you mixed that with the strawberry drink? Yeah. Can, can I have uh -oh. a swig? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, pour, I'll take a swig. All right, all right. Flying like we're fire! <laughs> oh my that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> all right well not to you know hold up the game uh so damien do you have one more thing you want to share no i guess i do i'll save my biggest secret for last though Ooh. okay okay i may have brought up before about my father dominic frog yeah. He was actually someone who climbed the, the tower. One of the first people, I would say. Or pretty pretty early on when the testing was uh was well established. Oh wow. He, um, Dang, he's old. I'm sorry. No. Oh. He he <laughs> is definitely old. He um He was always very kind though. I never blamed him, but he he got put on secret assignments for a jihad's army. Usually oh. the record of Jihad's army is very, uh, very public, but for my dad, not so much. Which I don't really quite understand. His last assignment was working for the Eon, the Eon family, but after that, I have no idea where he is. And you could say he's the reason I'm climbing the tower. So you're climbing wow. the tower for family. That's right, to reunite. I haven't seen him for ten years. I'm sure he expected me to climb the tower much sooner. I don't really know why I didn't. I guess you don't really have a choice when climbing the tower. It just kind of throws you in there. I give him like a pat on the shoulder. 
I just want to know where he's been all this time. Eden Is gets okay? very somber. Is he alive? I hope so. I'm sure he is, man. Let's, you know, don't don't dwell on it. Oh, no, I'm not sad or anything. Right. That's just maybe you'll understand my reasons for doing things a little more. Yeah, man. Totally. But anyway, shall we continue the game? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and switch up our opponents just to make it more fun. Okay. I want to take on Eden. Uh, okay. Come on. You know... Are you afraid? You think I'm going to beat you? Uh, no, but... Well, Brack, it seems like you're my most logical opponent. Seeing as we both only have one chip. I'm going to win this time. I, I lean over to Gasso. I'm like, don't say anything. They're not going to notice. <laughs> All right, Eden, let's go. Uh, wait. <laughs> Do you want to place the bet or me? I honestly don't care. I placed the bet last time, so I guess you're up. Okay. Let's bet three chips. Put some forward. Uh, uh, Still leaves you with one to spare. Yeah, but that's a lot, Victor. You're going all in. <laughs> I have five chips. Excuse me. I have five chips. <laughs> <laughs> Looks All at right. my one chip. All right. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. All right. You go first. Three. Yeah. Two is five. Plus one is six. Two is eight. Plus five is 13. Plus one is 14. Plus six is 20 and I'll stand. He kind of whistles. Whew. Whew. Okay, making it difficult for me, I see. Always. Uh, we got four, 10, 12, 16, 18. Looks up at you. <sighs> and that's a 21. I'm not even kidding. It's a 21. Dang. 21. Dang it! <laughs> I'm not kidding. Eden with a very dark look and a <laughs> grimace on her face pull, pushes the chips over and she is she's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Now we get to hear all about your past. Isn't that exciting? No, no, it's not. Sorry, but you know, had to do it to you. You know how it is. You know, back at the uh, at my place, they called me the the Dice Master. I'm sure they called you a lot of things. And she was like, <laughs> lightly punches him on the shoulder and kind of like crosses her arms and just looks at the ground. <laughs> all right, all right. A little, little sulky, a little sulky. Yeah, a little sulky, all right. Damien and Brack? I put one hand to my head and I say, let's duel. <laughs> I look at Damien while I'm still trying to catch my breath uh, <laughs> from the swig that I took. <laughs> And I, I, I let out Gasu and <clears throat> Wu need to play. They can't play each other. <laughs> I was sure you'd be too drunk. To God damn it, Brack. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you are correct. No secrets will be lost if they play each other. Therefore, oh. I shall face Gasu. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you had the same arrangement. <laughs> I. No, he was. I was, just, I was just messing with him. He's not actually part of it. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can afford it. I love that he went ran with it. <laughs> if you were like, no, yeah, I don't he would. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Gasu, are you ready to duel? <sighs> yeah, let's just get it over with. I will go first. <laughs> All right, oh, that's an eight. Why do you sound like Yugi all of a sudden? Because this is how I do it. <laughs> that is a nine. That is an 11. <laughs> 12. <laughs> all right, 15. Oh my, can I roll a little higher? 19. I stay. You will move, Gus. <laughs> I wouldn't trust Iron Jesus like that. Oh <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, man. Internally oh, in my fuck. head, I'm like, what if he rolls higher than a 19? Do not worry, Damien. <laughs> you will get through it. Just, Just Hrace believe, believe in your role. Yeah. I imagine Hrace Velger as, like, the Yugi <laughs> Yeah! Hrace Velger. Hrace Velger is uh, absent right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a pharaoh version of him, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Velger, king of games. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. You're sitting at a 19, oh. Damien. Go ahead, uh, Gasu. It's time okay. I got serious, Gasu. <laughs> I end my turn. <laughs> Gasu is looking at Damien thoroughly, thoroughly... Thoroughly irritated. <laughs> he's oh, he's holding his hurt. one chip to his to his head, uh, like it's right. like, like it's a card he drew from his deck. <laughs> all right. All right. Four. Yes. Nine. Six. Fifteen. Ooh, nineteen. So we we go again. Ooh. Yep. You would yep. go okay. again. Go ahead. Uh... Gasu starts. Yeah. Oh, I start. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Five. The battle of the dice. Mm. Three, three is eight. How many coins were you out betting? They both. Fourteen. Uh, Damien only has one, so they can only bet one. Yeah. Oh, right. one. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 20. Staying right there. Okay. Staying right there, sir. It didn't work for me, though, no, dang it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, it's all good. You rolled a 20. How are we going to beat that? Do not worry, Damien. <laughs> Believe in the heart of the dice. <laughs> <laughs> that is a four. I can't believe I rolled a two ones and a two. Yeah, that was okay. That was a roll. It was a roll. It sure was. <laughs> I got two ones. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Oh, right. Five. Get all your natural ones. ones out of the way. Jeez. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Wait. So, so what am I at? Thirteen. Fifteen. Right. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. I can yeah. math. Yeah. Okay. I can math. <laughs> Fifteen. You need another six. Plus. Four. That's nineteen. 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 Oh, yeah, that's twenty, Damien. What are you gonna do? You want to must believe in the heart of the dice. <laughs> Go! Yes! Oh, shoot! 21! 21! Oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! 21! Obliterate! <laughs> <laughs> we are crossing over way too many universes tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Keep killing me. All right. Gasu goes down to one chip. Damien with two. Gasu, how do you react to the loss? Uh, very monotone. Okay. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You said not my Gosh, secret. if you believe in your dice, you can do anything. <laughs> it is all right. possible. It's Wu versus Breck. I only got a chip, so only one chip up. Yeah, yeah. We both went last time, so I'm going to start again. All right. <laughs> I did the right thing. Oh, you're good, you're good. And so Victor and Eden, you're just, you know, everyone's watching. Mm. All right, we got eight from Wu. Mm -hmm. uh, 12. 12. What's it gonna be? Oh, 20. <gasps> Ooh, 20. Landed on that 20. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. All right. You got five, me. seven, 10. 16. Oh, I just don't be? need a six. I just don't need a six. <laughs> 20. 20. Oh, oh okay. go again. Brack, Brack, you lead this time. Right. Two, seven, uh, 12, 16. Yep. Just gotta believe. Oh. 17. Okay. <laughs> one one. Excellent. 18. We're working our way there. 18. We're working our way <laughs> there. One step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
This is what it feels like to be the king of games. You know you're gonna push for it. Give him a pep talk race, Velger. Yeah. It's a 50 50 chance. It's a 50 50 chance. You're at 18. I'm standing at 20. Nice. Nice. I woo. Well, god dang. Okay, we got 12. We're rolling multiple dice at once. 15. 15. Come on. 18. 18. 18. Oh, it's up. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> you can bust. I've seen the story before. Oh, 22. Oh, 22. <laughs> 22. <laughs> you win. He busted. All right. Oh. Wow. You, you don't know how badly I am trying, Look, Joe. I know this is above the table, like this family friendly. I was about to go off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, cool. oh my god! Oh, oh shoot! Mm. Well, well, a lot of intense rounds this time. Let's start with uh, okay. So Eden lost three secrets. <sighs> we lost one secret and. You actually lost two. two secrets, yeah, because of Gasu. Uh, who wants to start? Oh, I mean, Eden got three to go. I, I guess I got to go as well. first. All right. <sighs> All right, my first secret is I was married at one point. What? You was what? Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I was married at one point. To who? What? what are you talking? Wait, wait <laughs> Robert, oh, I need to talk to you right now. Hold on. That is uh. <laughs> Victor's like very shocked. <laughs> You're just gonna drop that at a, at a, at a, out of nowhere? Well, what other secrets do you want, Victor? Do you want my whole life story? Friendship? I mean, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just, you know. Wait, 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 you were married, so what happened? That would require another secret. Spend it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't decide if that was going to be one of my other secrets. That is one of my secrets. Oh, God. Okay. Hello. You want it. You may All divulge right. any secrets you want to, Eden. Know that I will respect <laughs> you no matter what you do. That's the secret. Next person. Okay. Mm. Uh, Victor's just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Victor right, got more I, than he bargained for. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going back. I, I got a secret, but I'm not putting all that on the table. So, uh, yeah, I snuck into the infirmary last night by stealing a key card. At which point, I drew a mustache on Cal Silver's. <laughs> That's not a oh. secret. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, but not every. But not everybody I mean, did. I didn't lose to you yet. That's fair, fair point. Fair point. Touche. And okay, mm -hmm. I'll tell I'll tell you Rock my me. second secret then. I have hundred and sixty points. Must have lost some. At least that's what Scopio said. There you go. Victor's just kind of silent. Wait. Does that qualify as a secret? Did you know how many points I have, Victor? Oh, we're playing. We're playing like that, huh? <laughs> kind of gives a little chuckle, but he's still very shocked at what he had just heard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're not getting that much out of me, man. I know what you're after here. It's not gonna work. It's totally cool. It's totally cool. Uh, all right. Who else lost the uh, secrets? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Gasu did. Oh, uh, I got him. I got him. That's true. Who did I got too. Okay. Uh, who does that leave? That leaves two, two, more leaves two, two, two more. I mean, if you don't want to say anything else, though, that's fine. I mean, that was a big one. Can but give we can give we can give you three. Yeah, like if, three. if you need time or you know. Well, I'll g I'll give you a little tidbit considering that somehow points are considered a secret when I know most of I think I know everyone's points at this point. And you've um, us. I have three hundred points. 
I knew that. You should. I knew that me. too. I knew that too. Everybody that knew that. I never told Doc. Victor. I never told him. He told me he had 250. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, Victor right. didn't know. Dasu also didn't know, so it still passed. That's true. That's yeah. true. Ah. You could. Lot. You missed out on a juicy one, but you opened that door. <sighs> You're not wrong. You got me. Okay, what's your last secret? Um. <sighs> you know, you want to tell us who you were married to. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, <clears throat> that speaker kind of just clears his throat. <clears throat> Mm, no. I'll say this. This has nothing to do with the previous secret. Well, okay, it it kind of does, but it doesn't. Well, okay. So before I was married, I was in an arranged political marriage to a coon. And I look over at Victor when I say it. Wait, 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 what? You were, you were married arranged. twice or you were? No, you the, were the arranged marriage didn't happen be. because I didn't like the idea. No offense, Victor. Um, uh, he, Victor is I, very. I married somebody else. No offense, the head of the Coon family, which is why I kind of knew something about the Coons. Yeah, he's kind of something. He likes to get around. Wasn't the head of the family, don't worry, but okay. he has a lot of offspring. <laughs> You're making me a little scared for a second there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, awkward. I'm not, and never will be that important. But yeah, it is incredible. How, yeah. do you come from a wealthy f fam family? That would well, be, that another be another secret. Yeah. Uh, we uh everyone's gonna want to play me now <laughs> and i only have one left <laughs> i'm shook she just kind of rolls the chip between her fingers <laughs> but she is uncomfortable and very red in the face we and as we, she's rolling the chip through her left hand you can kind of notice like the calluses of where a wedding ring to have been oh my goodness what is that I see Eden doing the coin trick, and I try and do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I kicked Damien from the call. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kicked Damien from the call. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to continue playing if it, you know, I mean. Well, I didn't want to dampen the mood with my secrets. You wanted to know them so badly. I didn't. Yeah. You said you wanted juicy secrets, Victor. Maybe you'll I be the next one to offer some up. juicy. I'm freaking... <laughs> I have a proposal for the last for the last round. If this is the last round, is it the last round? We can make it. The Might last be the round. last. What's your proposal? Yeah. The loser has to divulge why they're climbing the tower. Of course, I already told you why I, I've uh, climbing the tower, but I will divulge where I learned my secret move instead. Okay, that sounds good to me. That sounds fine to me too. So, how does that work? Well. Uh, there will be three losers, I assume, and they will have to divulge why they want to climb the tower. On one condition. Gasu. Yes? You in on this? We just heard <laughs> Eden's life story. I mean, it's only fair, right? Like, look at that vision like, oh. Too late. Alright, fine. What? If I lose, Wait. I'll tell you why I'm climbing the tower. Goss, you, you actually accept? You, I, I can still bet for you, you know? No, it's you fine. Should. I want him right. to hear this. Delightful! I wonder oh. what it could be. What everyone's motivation is. Uh, okay. Breath finally catches his breath. And he looks over at Gasu because of the conversation that they had early in the plan for later on this evening. <laughs> And he's just wide-eyed, like, <laughs> are we about to do this now? <laughs> so, All right. Who playing who? Well, I, I'd say our chips don't really matter at this point, so it could be anyone. Um, 
Yasu, you cool with uh, cool with facing me? Of course. Okay, it's settled. I guess I'll versus Damien since I've first rock three times or twice. Sure. So Wait, for real? Uh, yeah. Well, I haven't gone against Damien, so. Oh, okay. Well then, I guess I guess we. Well, the problem is that Wu's already gone against yeah. Brack. But no, no, we could do it. But we each uh, won one, so let's just do it. Oh, it's so a tiebreaker. Well, if we did Eden and Brack, it would mean new. Oh, okay. No, I, yeah. I, mean, I already went against Brack though. Oh, I can you face oh, Brack. Oh, my bad. First, and first round, I was against Brack. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Who did I first first round? Oh, I was against Wu first round because Wu yeah. won two. You were against Gosu first round. Oh, yeah, that were, was against Gosu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. All, right, all right, cool, 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 cool. I had, right. I had the arrow pointed the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I did too. All right, Eden and Brack. And then we'll do Wu and Damien. Yeah. Okay. All right, we can uh, do first thing if you want. My do we want to roll? Wait, do we want to roll like uh, a d20 to see who goes first? Whoever has the yeah, highest. Yeah, yeah. I was going to suggest like flipping okay. a coin. D20 is probably better. Okay. okay. Yep. So, first matchup, Victor and uh, oh. Gasu. So, y'all oh. roll D20. Do, do so whoever gets first? the highest. Well, Wu, did you yeah. want to go first? Oh, oh wait. It's... No, 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 no. I want, I want Victor and Gasu. Okay. Last. <laughs> oh, last. By all means. Okay. Yeah, oh, like, last. Yeah, like, order of people right. that have the most yeah. weight. Yeah. Brack, Got let's you. go. Brack, let's okay. go. So whoever oh, gets the highest gets to choose who goes first. I got 18. I got 13. Oh, okay. You choose. Yeah, All right, Brack, you choose. Yeah. I'm going to go first. Hold up. You want to go first? All right. All right. So 1D6. Don't fail me now. Mm. Nice. You fail nice me. Nice start. Nice start. <laughs> we got three. Yo. Three. Four. <laughs> three, seven, seven. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, 16. Sixteen. Anything but a six. Anything but a six. My grenade. Nice. We got twenty one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Twenty one from Brack. That is oh big. shoot. Oh, that is literal perfect. Goodness. I hate right, everything. Eden. I hate it. I hate it. Be on my side tonight. <laughs> Love it. All right, I start off with a one as well. Okay. Always Six, good luck. Seven. Mm -hmm. Plus three is ten. Mm -hmm. Plus two is twelve. Plus three is fifteen. Okay. Plus four is nineteen. Don't chance it. Uh, Gotta do it. Nineteen. Plus two is twenty-one. No, no way! No way! No way! No way! The no way. Wow. But now I have to go again. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh. All right, it's five plus six is eleven. That's a high roll to start. Mm -hmm. uh, eleven plus five is sixteen. <laughs> you get another five. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Are five. you serious? That was insane. Why can't I roll like that for damage? Why? <laughs> he deserves those. 21. He Eden wants to keep her secrets. Roles. She does. Oh my God. She, she gave two hand. heavy secrets. All right. I, I got truth. six. Six. Oh, eight. <laughs> nine. Fourteen. Uh, Eighteen. 18. <gasps> Come on. Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. I ain't even gonna look. I ain't even gonna look. No look. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh. Shiza. He broke. <laughs> he broke. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, with a 23. Eden breathes a big sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't want to share anything else. Okay. Mm, nope. No, she doesn't. All right. Uh, Wu and Danny? All right. I got a 12. What do you got? I got a 19. Oh. Right. Yeah. I will go okay. second. Oh, you want to go first. second? Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair I respect it. Brought this upon yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 11. Everything I do, I bring upon myself. F 15. <laughs> 18. 18. What are we looking at? Come on now. Three, three, three. 
Let's go! Oh, oh, 21! That's so what? brutal! Who was a gambling wow. master? Oh, Wu yeah. is experienced. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Three people got dead. 21 this round. <laughs> <laughs> well, be Blue the fourth, insane. Damien. Started off with an 11. 11? Okay. Okay. Five, six, okay. the last pathetic okay. dice. Oh, no. 21! Oh, what? <laughs> what? Why no, don't we roll this high for the other No, my God. God. I will We're take cracked. We're cracked. We're <laughs> cracked. We don't want to yeah. give away our secrets. This can't be. I should have made this episode where we fight Jihad. I yeah. have flipped <laughs> the board, Woo. It is now my move. <laughs> oh, my God. Eight. Yeah. 14? Yeah, 14. No. Yeah, 14. 14 for Damien. 17. 17. All awesome fingers, all you need. Ooh, 18. 18. 18. 50 50. No! Bro. Oh, he, oh, he, he automatically loses. That one's not pretty. Oh, we get to learn about his move, though. Woo! Praise <laughs> Vogler is so. Pharaoh Praise Vogler is disappointed in you, man. Oh, no! <laughs> no, don't do that! I'm glad, he's, I'm glad he's not here to see this. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, his he's out drinking alone tonight. <laughs> his brain yeah. is like, misplay, dude, misplay. <laughs> All right. Well, Victor, uh... who we haven't gotten a secret from, and Gasu, you're next. Two people that haven't given out a single secret. I'll go first. Well, we gotta determine gotta this first. Uh, yeah. D20. Oh, you are totally right. Never mind. <laughs> Come on now, Gasu. I got a 17. Ooh, 13. I'll go second. Ooh. Fair enough. Ooh. Strategy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, Hannah has to stop Not giving here. commentary. This is bad. <laughs> no, 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 I'm having no, no. fun though. <laughs> yeah, Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Eighteen. We're gonna roll again. We're gonna do it. We're gonna roll again. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Man, good sure. Man. Sure. I believe in you, Gasu. <gasps> Twenty fucking two. Yeah! Yes! I mean that in the nicest it's way. I just want to know about bust. Gasu more. <laughs> it's a bust. Damn. Oh, I look over shoot. at Victor. Victor. Yeah. I know. This was your idea, but you never gave up a secret. This whole time. Because I'm clearly the best gambler here. What's that, what's that my fault? Gasu sort of raises his hand to Eden. No, no, it's fine. I'll play fair. I lost. No, I just, you know, out of the collective information gathering, I think one secret would be fair, but... Funny how it works like that, isn't it? It Maybe is, isn't it? Victor. Just give us something. You already something. got everything you wanted to know. It can be the color of the underwear you're wearing. Well, it's not a bad or, idea. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, someone else can start if they want. If it's such a humongous secret that will change the tower. Fine, I'll share one thing. Why not? It's not going to be anything crazy, though, because I think I earned my right to keep most of my secrets. Sure, sure. Agreed. Okay. Well, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right. I developed my own way of fighting with this uh, spear here. Flying fish hmm. style. And uh, I don't know. It just fits me, you know? Agile movements, leaps. But it's called the flying fish style, and I'm the only person in the family who can use it. So there you That's go. Awesome. There's your big secret. Well, we'll have to spar on. considering we're both spear bearers now. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two. It's not based on anything else in the tower? Uh, well, not really. I mean, as a coon, I was forced to, you know, train with the family and probably picked up a couple things, but I didn't like how everyone was doing the same thing. I wanted to create something that was my own, you know? So, so nobody, nobody trained you at all? Hmm. If you can call it training. I mean, the coon family, it's kind of a mess. I don't really want to get into it. Huh. Isn't Pretty that respectable, true? Victor. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. That is fascinating. 
<laughs> All right. Who wants to go next? I guess I will. Since I brought it up and all. So you all know the reason I'm climbing the tower. There was a, um... I was so alone after many of my friends started climbing the tower that, um... I took comfort in, uh, reading stories about others in the tower. And there was, there was one individual who was this shining beacon of light for people in the tower, for people like me. Yeah. And her. And she's a very she's a very famous regular who's climbing the tower right now. Really. She's making great headway, and she's a bit of a celebrity, actually. Who is it? It is Adori Jihad. And that move is based on one of the moves that I've seen her do. I'm sure that she no longer uses the killer whale style confidier, seeing as she's climbing so rapidly, but well, I think the move suits me. Wait, could you say that again? You, you what? I How do you stole, you I what? stole a move that from Adori Jihad? You stole a move? What? You I uh Black just needs answers. I don't really know how to explain it. I just <laughs> kind of stole it from her. When did you see her use it? You mean the Adori, correct? Yeah, Adori Jihad. The most famous regular in the tower. Gold hair and princess. She's... Yeah, that's yeah. right. And, and beautiful and perfect in her decisions and fights alone. Damien, were you stalking her? No. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> At the I think time, Damien I was took just move a out of her purse. I was just a regular person, and I had no ability to climb the tower. I only I was a mere citizen and lived in the tower. He had been climbing. I lived on the twenty first floor, but it's not like her moves are a big secret or anything. Okay. Well, okay, I'm consider me impressed. Ah. Uh... Eden has gone wow. the palest shade anyone has ever seen her. It's not like I know Adori Jihad, although I wish I did. You are right? Uh, well, okay. Wow. We're going we're gonna to let Gossip go last, so I'm going to go ahead and go next. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, way more fruitful than I thought it would be. So, the reason why I started to climb the tower is... Most of you would probably think, oh, here's a meathead. It's just to prove himself. No, 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 no. It's not to prove to myself, but to basically find out a little bit more about my father. See, when he left, after he was able to teach me whatever he could, he told me that he was a part of some organization. And I he didn't go into too much detail and then there was the guy with the scythe and i i just i just want to get to the top so that i can know more about what's going on because as i told you i'm from the middle i know very little of what's going on on the outside and i just want to know more and that's pretty much while i'm climbing why i'm climbing do you know who would know more information? Any sort of lead? Not a clue. That is unfortunate. You have less to go on than me and my father. But I know if I find Scythe Guy, I'd be able to know more. Scythe if I hear guy, anything, I'll... I'll let you know, man. Is, um, yeah. is uh, the, the, the Scythe Guy, is he... The one that's on this floor is. Do you think he's. No, I have no clue who that guy is. I just, <laughs> he's okay. a mystery to me. V okay. Victor turns. Eden, you you okay? Your voice is. Yeah, kinda... yeah. Um, um. Yeah, I'm. Um, I don't feel well. I'm gonna go back to the room. Good night, everyone. And I wait, get up and good, hightail it. Eden, wait, but don't. Gasu! We... Well, that was the weirdest thing I've seen all night. She's normally so composed. Even after telling us about her husband, what was that about? Well, 
she's, yeah. she's my roommate, so I should, I'm going to go check on her. But well, please tell me the juicy details on what Gasu's reason for climbing the tower is. We gotta is. find out about Gasu, right? I mean, I do. looks toward the door. I want to know more than anyone, but I should be there for my friend. Damien, so. just, just go. I'm curious to see how she's doing. That didn't look good. Will do. And tell me all the details! <laughs> Got you. I love the sing-songy. Oh. <laughs> so the two of them leave the room. And then Victor kind of just sits there for a second, looks towards Gasu. Look, man, you don't. We can do this no. at the time. Like, it's fine. Something I've actually been waiting to talk about for a while. And Gasu sort of stands up as he's saying it. You see this sword I carry, and he pulls the sheen sword off of his waist. It used to belong to my master before he was killed. Before he died, he told me to avenge his death, to do whatever it takes to find the person responsible. And as Gasu is saying this, he's walking like steadily closer and closer to Victor. And do you know the one hint that he gave me of who the identity of that person is? No. And he grabs Victor by the shirt and like pulls him up off the ground <laughs> that he has blue eyes and blue hair. And he sort of just throws Victor to the ground. Well, Ooh. I hope you enjoyed your game. I'm out of here. Mm. Well, that was... Never thought that his master would have gotten killed. Would you, Woo? I had an idea of why he was so hateful towards Victor when he saw him, but I didn't know that was specifically why. Hmm. Well, anyway. Victor, it sucks to be you. Uh. <laughs> Brack, I'm going to take these uh, this case of strawberry drink back to the vending machine so Damien doesn't get in trouble. Don't well, get hold, any ideas. Hold on there. Hold on there. <laughs> Damien left. It's and just me and that's you. why we're returning it. Scopio has his eye on me. I'm telling you, it's for the best. I'll buy you some tomorrow. Promise. Well, Victor, it was fun, man. Appreciate it. Hope you got what you wanted. But uh, as you can see, you're not any closer to Gasu. And like I told you when we first met, I don't fully trust you yet. But if you want to gamble, hit me up anytime, and then I leave. Victor just stays in the room, looks lost in thought as you all disperse amongst yourselves on the second floor. And we're going to end the session there. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> session. I'm so happy I got out of that game without spilling too many deep secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, it's like you're... yeah. Yeah. It's fun. That was. that was so much fun. That was very fun. Look at yeah. us bonding. Look at all of us, man. <laughs> a couple of kids. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Kids. I would enjoy it. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably be changing the title of this episode because I, I figured we'd get to our class, but this was better. I mean, we we were able to take some time, and I mean, <laughs> wow. I don't know. It just it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I do want to say, uh, really quick here, that. I've said this pretty much every episode since the start of this series, and that's that Towers and Gods, the way certain things are, might not align 100% with current Tower of God, and my, you know the reasoning for that is so we can develop some, some more interesting development. But also, because we don't want to take the facts that we know about Tower of God now, like if you look something up on the wiki or something, as fact, because that could be some kind of, you know, diversion. It could be fake. Who knows? So I'm not saying to not trust anything, but I'm just saying anything is kind of possible. Um, so just keep that in mind. Obviously, it's not like, you know, bomb's going to show up or something like that. Obviously. We want to keep it, like, realistic still with the current Tower of God. But to make things interesting, we want to connect to the lore. And so things could be a bit different than what it really is technically with what SIU said like 10 years ago. That's all. 
But yeah, fantastic session. That was awesome. Yeah. Really awesome stuff. I don't and even know also, because we're so far in the past, too, events could have been cleared up or changed as time has gone on. So we exactly. have flexibility. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We will see more. <laughs> we will see. Yeah. Great stuff, though. Um, thank yeah. you all so much for watching. Yes, thank if, you, Jack. <laughs> yeah, huge thank you. If you do have memes or fan art, of this episode, once again, link down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you like Towers and Gods and you wanna support the channel. Um, and don't forget to follow these guys. Their links are down below. They're all very talented and very fun. So go check them out. But uh, yeah, any anything else that I'm forgetting, guys, or anything you wanna say? This episode support was this... crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Like the video. Support, support like, Joe yeah, like, too. Like the, like the video. Like, like the video. video. Comment. Like, share it. Leave a comment. Thank you. Remember that we're weekly also. Don't forget yes. that we're weekly. Oh, yes. That's true. That's true. Next Friday. Friday. See y'all next week. Next Friday. Next Friday is going to be our last episode before a holiday break. And then we'll be back with weekly episodes, which is very exciting. So yes. hopefully we'll see mm -hmm. you there. A uh, huge shout out to everyone. And with that being said, We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Who will live? Peace. Who will Good night. die? Have a good weekend. <laughs> Who will lose the card game? Oh.